What up and welcome back to another episode here of the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast here on the Wake and Bake this morning. Thank you guys so much for pas- for patiently waiting for the new episode to come on. And I hope everybody, this is technically our Monday, so I hope everybody had a great weekend. Had a very eventful weekend. I don't know what you guys did after you guys tuned in on Saturday. But we'll hear about it maybe when we take some phone calls or something like that. Some of you guys have some crazy interesting stories. A lot of you guys are on drugs, I could tell. When uh when you guys call in. You guys I don't know, I think I, I feel like I have like um I feel like once you stop doing uh extracurricular activities, sometimes you, you, you get you kinda get gain like a like a certain um like a radar to to tell other people are on drugs. But we'll tell we'll we'll talk about that more right now. Uh joining me Across, uh, as usual, is my toxic ass co-host. What's up, XG? What's up? What's up? Not as usual. Last last Saturday, I wasn't here. Sorry, guys. My bad. I was excited for that episode. We had Jill the Kid here, a tagger. I'm not a tagger lover, kind of, but I know he gets down down. He does murals, which to me is different, but I think he started that illegal shit. How was the episode? It was good. It was dope. Yeah. Uh, you, guys had, you guys had a fat little crowd at one point when I tuned in and I super chatted saying sorry. My bad. My bad. He's on again. I don't mean again in a rude way, but I fucked up. Dropped the ball. I texted these fools saying the homie got arrested, and that meant like me, the homie, but a homie got arrested. It, was, it makes no sense. It didn't make no sense at three in the morning. My bad, guys. Sorry, sorry, Ray. Uh, and sorry, Super Chat and Eason again. But I'm back. Give this man some citizenship already. I know, dog. I was so scared when the homie was getting arrested. I like ran. I was like, I'm out of here. I'm a boy. Instead of like, but he didn't get arrested. You know, I just saw cops starting to talk. It was bullshit. But yeah. quick trying to get you back you were trying though i'm not gonna lie it was pretty like when i woke up i was like juan guerrero because you typed in my name and i was like what the fuck's going on and then i had a call from george and then i was like and then i looked at chili's text and i was like oh fuck wait and you're then, saying that e-zone loves yeah, you a little bit a little bit enough a little bit more than george because george was like i told him was like i because he's was like he's almost worried what happened i was like dude i misspelled something you know my illiterate ass i meant the homie instead of i'm the homie that met me, I met my homie. And he's like, yeah, fool. He's on was like, let's get this fool out. Or like, what's his name? What's his birthday? I was just like, if he's locked up, he's locked up, dog. If anything, let's start looking for a coyote type of shit. And I was like, nah, shout out to he's on his fool's worried. And then Ray, even Ray called me, which is pretty. You can't Ray. trust the coyote service sometimes because think about it. Like, I wouldn't. I could, there's no Yelp, but I could go be like, let me get this two star one to save money. He, Xavier might lose an organ on the way here, but he'll make it. He's on. I think you're onto something. Holy fuck! <clears throat> think about what you just said. Yelp for coyotes, dog. Damn. Damn, dog. I think that's a. In the dark web for sure. Yeah, dog. Cause that is. Oh, a there's fucking... Yelp for drug dealers. Wait, wait, is there? In the dark web? Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. In the dark web, there is. Yeah, yeah. You can leave a review and shit. Yeah. Look at my reviews on whatnot. What? No, nah. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, I'm you joking, get, you I'm get surprised. <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, I think you're on. I mean, it sounds weird. I don't know if Apple would let us. App, Apple would run, let us run that app on their system. No, it would not be on Apple. <laughs> it would, it would, you'd have to do that on the dark web, or like maybe like a. I don't know if cartel fools probably. Cartel fools probably have Chinese fools on deck working for these fools that they could develop their own apps. I think the cartel game is so up to date, bro, with different shit that like these fools have their own network. They probably have their own antenna set up in the middle of the fucking woods where only certain phones will get service. Yeah, if they could, they could run podcasts. They can fucking run, run all kinds of shit that'll actually be like entertainment and people will fucking dig it. Like not for nothing. But by the way, that's Ray, everybody. Welcome back, Ray. Good morning. What? What I was gonna say is that, like, think about it, fool. These fools literally have enough. Like, if if cartel fools could retire or like, I don't know, bro. I think the real move is, we gotta start hiring. Like, the immigrant of today is not the immigrant of yesterday. Like, the immigrant of yesterday, we could hire to do, like, field work, construction. There's other kind of immigrants coming through that border, dog. Like, if we were, if we wanted to start our own fireworks business. We get a few of these Indian fools or Arab fools. They know how to play with gunpowder. I went deep down the immigrant like, rabbit hole. Hold on, hold on. Ahead, like, they, they, then what? What about now? The fooders, it's not just Mexicans. You got like way south of the border immigrants. You got Chinese fools. Well, tell me you don't see a couple of Chinese fools there 
fucking have a Chinese translator. Nick now, computer, <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking computer. You you work computer. <laughs> fucking have, have these fools fucking work computers, bro. Some of these fools they know what their shit, dog. Yeah. And you put them to work. You start doing what Griselda Blanco did with the fucking Maria Maria Letos or you whatever, just, like those those immigrant fools. Have you seen that series? No, I was about to ask. It's you. fucking good. Like good, dog. good. Yeah. I never thought that's not if that's Netflix attempt to look to make Sofia Vergara look somewhat unappealing. You guys still failed. It's kind of hard to make that woman. Bro, kinda, yeah, yeah, cause, yeah, like it's kind of yeah, it's kind of it, hard. It, <laughs> no, no, so she looks like she's had problems. Like you tell, like like scars and shit well, she, a little bit, but like she looks better than Jenny Rivera. Yeah, for sure. Still, and that's a problem, dog. If you're trying to make someone look bad and you make her look. May Je she rest in peace. Jenny Rivera she's... wasn't necessarily the best looking girl. Oh, though. no. But Gr but Griselda Blanca was not the best looking girl. I thought, I thought she was No, I know. Crazy. Okay, so I think Rock Samson would probably think Jenny Rivera was attractive. Oh, yeah, because yeah, he's, 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 he's on like fat cheeks. Yeah, yeah. Put me in that list, dog. <laughs> yeah. Put me but, in that list. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, so Griselda Blanca wasn't necessarily <coughs> good look. Like, she was not good looking at all, the real one. You know? No. She was not. But so... They already knew they were jumping the gun when uh when when they when, when they got Sofia Vergara to do it but they kind Netflix kind of had to like uglyfy her a little bit or make their attempt to it and they they did not bro like she still looked fine and now that I think about it she obviously died we all know that's not spoiler alert but when Netflix makes this movie who do they pay this out to did her family get money? Does anybody also, get money? Also, I heard money? about how the son of Griselda yeah. is kind of like throwing a lawsuit for he defamation should. and all that stuff. So it's possible oh. that he might get a bag. We've met him before, right, Angel? Yeah, yeah he was here. Oh, you guys met him? Ooh, you know what's crazy? What vibes did he give? I, like typical uh, Miami life kind of okay. guy. Yeah. Like, okay. What was this? Uh, we, Black Widow? Blanc Blanco. Blanco. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, like and, a widow sort of. Oh, like uh, in my head when I when he when he gave me one of those bags, I was like, you don't know how bad I wish this girl was coke in his bag. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, cause in, in a perfect world, bro, like I'd be in like, a perfect world. <laughs> oh like, no, hell no! Nah. Get me out of there. Leave the world behind on that one, dog. <laughs> <laughs> in a perfect world, yeah, in a perfect world. There's no cocaine. There's no fentanyl in, in cocaine and nasal. Yeah, bro. you could buy it next. There's like they, you know how the hardware section has outdoor plants, yeah. saws, and electric tools. There would be like a section, be like herbs, concentrates, snortables, <laughs> snortables, snortables. <laughs> I can't wait to that day. I don't the know. The snortables. Hey, where's the snortable section? You got ketamine. You got you got weed. You, you know, at that point, there's going to be THC that you can snort. That caffeine you can snort. The snortables. I don't know. I want to know what part he's actually suing for, though, because there was certain things, too. Like, this bitch started smoking crack. Like, if you want to see Sofia Vergara smoke crack, you watch that series, fool. She spins it? She smokes crack, fool. Yeah. And she starts getting... Does it good? Does she look hot, She though? starts getting paranoid. Nah, would you, fool. Would you that's bone the... her? Like, if, if she was, like... like... <laughs> Weak ass chick like her say, "Come nah, get this, you like, can bone it." There's nothing unattract. There's nothing attractive about. Oh, crack. definitely not. Definitely not. But there's some chicks that I say. And it I, wasn't even I the pookie care. pipe. It was the straight ones, like the chillums. Oh no, yeah. it's gotta be the pookie. The pookie. I don't know why the pookie makes it better for me. Makes it fancier, you know, more sophisticated. Wait, more Carol G's Bergata in this itch. fucking show? Oh yeah, she's in. Like, I ain't watching that shit no more. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna cut, start watching they, it. They, they cut. They cut her head off. All right, I gotta watch it. <laughs> all right, I might, might watch it. <laughs> yeah. She, Hattie G all the way, dog. Man, you guys are hating, dog. She's the more talented G. <laughs> <laughs> like, Be Becky fucking G, like, I I think, I, if I'm not mistaken, I used to work with her cousin at Young and Reckless. Oh, shit. Yeah, you mentioned that. This one, yeah. this one fool, Emilio, he, he used to take pictures of boxers. He was a Hispanic fool. He used to... He was, I don't know, a fool, like, photographers, they get a job like that, fool, like, that end up getting a really good job, like, they kind of act like fools that got molested by Diddy, they're like, you're not gonna take this away from me, because I don't even want to get close to you, like, you know what I mean, like, where it's just like, no, 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 no nobody can find out, because you know how, like, like, not for nothing, bro, but, like, fools are just, like, very prideful about, like, their, their work, yeah, yeah. and all this shit, and, like, photographers are passionate about their shit, so, like, you know how Aton Aton does not yeah he does not mingle it's with It's funny that you mentioned Aton because yesterday Aton showed me photos of this Revolt Festival he did in Miami in twenty fourteen. Show me all the photos. Cause he was like, Oh shit, I, I got these photos I, I forgot how they took. Show me some scissor and all that. But in the mix of all that, including Biggie's mom, 
took pictures of P. Diddy, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah. <sighs> Sucking someone's dick. And when I looked at these photos, dude, and the way he was posing with other people, <laughs> men and women, and younger men, weird vibes, dude. I swear weird to God. Weird vibes, dog. He has a gold mine. And that was back in the day where you didn't think everyone had a phone, too. No, 2014 people had phones. What am I talking about? 2014. Yeah, people still have phones. I'm tripping. I thought you said 2004. Because those days, that's when you really did things. When no one had phones. So people were crazier, in a way. Yeah, there's... But yeah, like... There's like... There's different kinds of photographers out there, people. Like, you could, like here's the thing, though. Like, if you live in Nebraska or something like that, like, where, like, somebody's like, look what I got at the flea market. I'm going to try taking pictures. Like, you know... Like, hey, man, like, that's like a photographer. Like, you're picking up a hobby. You could develop your photography skill, bro. But, like, in L.A., you meet the different types of photographer, bro. Yep. Let me break this down to you. There's the passionate types that give a fuck about it. Like, you know how Geo kids would give a fuck about the graffiti and he still goes to the train tracks? That's the Ray type of photographer. Still writes scripts, has ambitions to take dope pictures, but they, like, they, they fall under different categories that are artistic. Fucking follows film. Follows the shit for the beauty of what it is. I want to add to that real quick. I also shoot photography like in film. Film was a lot of money, dude. About 15 years ago, like the inflation level of What do you even mean film? by that? What do you mean? I like for real. Like, what do you mean you shoot photography in film? Film, fool, the shit that comes out of the, the oh, real. Yeah, world. I said That's it expensive? Wrong. I, That's yes. expensive? Yes. A world of film nowadays is like 10 bucks. It used Whoa. to cost like five bucks. Three ninety nine at Costco before. There you go. I remember that shit. That shit costs money. And it also costs money to develop it. And if you want to get scans. And time. Time. Where do you develop things at still? I know that sounds... Fuck, I sound... At so a stupid. photo lab. There's... Dude, you there's have one a photo, down the street. You have a photo lab? No, I don't. But oh, I can I make one. I thought you said you that. Huh? It's not that hard? A dark room? No. Nah. Especially for black and white photography. It's really simple. You can do it in a closet. Like the same closet you would like grow weed in. You can use that same closet to make a dark room. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, it's expensive, bro. And if you're into that shit, it's passionate. It, I'm not saying it's a money pit, but you know, you get to see it physically. Labor of love. Yeah, it's a exactly. Yeah, it's labor a, of love. So yeah, like you meet photographers like him. Sometimes you meet other fools that are like him that are big time. But there's big time fools that are like him, like Esteban Oreo. Oh, that so food does, okay, that food so he's doesn't. That food does, you consider him a yeah. He's a. I would consider yeah, him. I would consider him one of the OGs. <laughs> In the actual photography game for what it is. And this is just me be, being in the industry. And he's Latino. Being in the entertainment industry and also seeing the different types of people that are in the industry. So those are like the passionate OG. I'm about it. I'm about it. There's the pervert ass fools that are that you could find in LA all over, which is like, no, 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 hold on. Do I know one of those? Do I know one of those? I'm just wondering. You probably know several, but yeah, but um <laughs> but but here's the here's what I mean by that. There's some fools out there that don't have high self-esteem or uh, they don't think highly of themselves, so they don't know how to talk to women, and this is kind of like where it starts. It'll be a young fool that'll be like, well, I'll just offer myself to take free pictures of girls and see how far we can take it. And I, and for real, dog, like I know some fools that like... It'll you, take you they, far, no? They, no, it won't take you that much because nine times out of ten, if that's your intention, these fools are end up fucking it up to, for themselves because... You know, the Jornalo shit takes over and then these fools end up getting an allegation or something like that. Sometimes when they're young, fool. And sometimes you sometimes some of these fools get to bloom and have a fucking career and then they know how to hide this fucking venom for so long that they do it to a higher profile chick. So like whenever you fucking have sometimes you, you have a, I'm not saying all photographers, whenever you have a photographer that's only all about certain things, like he only like he only shoots women like this or he only does that. Maybe think a couple of times or ask around. I'm not saying they're all creeps, but maybe a lot of the times in L.A. you will meet. There's a good chance that you will meet some fool that just didn't know how to talk to bitches. Fucking was like, this is my only chance if I offer this pretty bitch to take pictures of her. Of course, the bitch lives off of attention, so she's going to fucking let you feed a lot of it to her and then you have this this generation and then now these fools they've evolved into what the, what you call the only fans photographer generation oh, i know that guy yeah. dog yeah so like the, and, and oh, like, there's to... there's the only and and that divides into two so here you go that divides into two right mm -hmm. either you become the fool that's driven by money or you become the fool that's driven by pussy and you, that's kind of like where you, it ends up you follow this guy he's on yeah which one is he, dog? <laughs> I'm not gonna comment on anybody, but 
But yeah, so <laughs> is that the Zishi photographer? No, no. no it's like that. But it's like but yeah, that. yeah, no, 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 no. And, <laughs> but but straight straight up, bro. Like, and I'm not saying all of these fools that like are out here meeting models. Are, are, are about the perverted shit. Like, ladies, you know. Like, you, you'll know who the fuck gives you the kind of vibes that, that the kind oh, of creep-ass vibes. They do yeah. know. Yeah, you they would fucking know. know. And, like, know. some of these girls that take it seriously, they end up asking around. And then, sure enough, the 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 other caliber of photographers that you'll, you'll meet in L.A. are the fools that'll, char- that'll overcharge you for something that shouldn't be charging you that much because they work for fucking such and such. Those are the kind of people that you can't get homie price unless you're in the same fucking... Uh, circle that they are otherwise than that you're paying for a brand more than anything but yeah that's that's kind of like uh photography services in la everybody from from me seeing it ray am i wrong is, is, you are not wrong there's a lot of creeps out there is he missing any other categories say what is he missing any other categories of photographers i don't consider the iphone photographers a real thing so. oh about- when you talk like that the TikTok photographer yeah like, like the guys that buy the accessories for the iPhone, you guys don't consider those photographers? I mean, it's photography <laughs> overall, whether you shoot it, you know, widescreen or vertically. It's still photography no matter what. It's just how you express yourself, I guess. You know, that's, where, that's where it differs. Yeah, straight up, bro. Like, fool, you ever, like, there's a lot of fucking creeps out there, fool. Like, 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 I, like I don't know, man. There's a lot of fucking, like, fools that would just... You think I like not for nothing, bro? Like I watch a lot of like uh, podcasts and stuff where like sometimes they'll be on No Jumper or sometimes they'll be uh, other podcasts and they start talking about dating and all that shit. Like fools, like fools don't know how to talk to bitches, dog. Like I feel like that shit has declined. Younger, well, yeah, younger cats. Like every like older every cats. generation that keeps going is fewer and fewer fewer knowing how to talk to bitches. Yeah, dog. You want to know why? I was and I know there's some people out there, well, of course not with that attitude. You're calling them bitches. Shut the fuck up. No. <laughs> nah, you know what? <laughs> I was talking about this the other day. You want to know a reason why you get, it's hard. like these guys won't talk to girls or like there's no like who they support. Who Please talk, don't turn who, this into something. No, no. Who talks to who talks to girls that they look up to in a weird kind of way? Oh, what the hell? Like who talks to girls that that who, who who's who's a player? In like cartoons or whatever now. It was Johnny Bravo. Is what I'm trying to say. There was Johnny Bravo that went up there and the fucking try to hit on girls. You always thought like uh action figures, like um All the cartoons are kinda gay now. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> There's no manly shit like Godfather. Like when you watch wrestling, you be like, God, that's like I wanna be like Godfather. I gotta talk to bitches to be like Godfather. Well, I mean that okay. And you owned up to it. But this is like little But you, you gotta you gotta be kinda like you can't just be biased and just say like cause that's kind of misogynistic to an extent. So you're just pushing a certain agenda. That's cool for some guys. There, but there should be. A, but, there, there, but there, there has be to be. Yeah. There should there should be a cartoon with a guy that's super misogynistic. A guy who's super like feminine. like they're like for example like no like for example don't get me wrong like something that's like a very modest and very like family oriented example in a cartoon is Super Mario. Never fucked Peach, but everybody knew he was going after the bitch. He was trying to rescue her. He was trying to be the Prince Charming. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't even sexual or nothing like that. So like fools got the agenda fools got the the fools got the fucking agenda or they got the the impression that they're like, hey man, like well, how do you get a princess type quality chick? Oh well maybe you gotta fucking like I don't know, take her something, a flower or something. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck, but like Mario made it seem like you gotta go to to cert, like to do something to like he 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 planted the seed, bro. Like yeah. cartoons like that planted the seed. So I get what you meant, what you mean with like certain <clears throat> certain cartoons or certain things being out there. Because I I was looking at uh some cartoons and I'm just like, there's nothing like that. The cartoons are not like that, fool. Like there's like hella Paw Patrols, there's monsters, there's nothing that's relatable. Out well, there like like, that. like now, like let's say you meet uh, let's say you're in middle school. Remember Pokemon Ash? I mean uh, Brock. Was was always that's was always trying. <laughs> yeah, like guess was... what? Still consensual. Not once did he say no because they told him no every time. Johnny Bravo same took thing. took the rejection Super, like a man, like a man. Same thing with Johnny Bravo. Consensual. They said no. You know he said, what he on did? To the next he one. got up and tried again the next episode. It's a fucking man right there. Exactly. A lot of episodes, but he got up and tried again and again until they canceled him. <laughs> 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 he was the first cancel. He was the first cancel. That's kind of sad, Bravo. man. I was like, I want to see what that fool's up to now. Did he ever get find some base to? Nah, like he's him? still trying, dog. <laughs> No, nah, but uh, no, nah, you're right. But you know what? You know what I was gonna say. What? Imagine you're in middle school right now, dog, and you like fucking Jessica. She's in second period, dog. 
You want to talk to her because she's like so Jessica was a real girl in your life. Uh, let's not, yeah, a little bit. Jessica still, yeah, I still follow her. <laughs> you know what? You know. <laughs> you know what'll be more heartbreaking what? than the rejection or no? To find out if you hear it, if you're a kid in middle school now, how many followers you got? Oh, that might, yeah. oh, dog, that's a whole new problem that they that. fucking probably deal like, with. You don't, have, you don't even have a thousand followers. What? Dog. We have, we, we, yeah, or like you don't even. That shit's gotta be heartbreaking, yeah. fool. Damn. That's why I don't go to none of them influencers' <laughs> parties, man. I'm not too over thirty k. But was it? Tell you? <laughs> no, no, but uh, no, no, but for real though, like, like, let me play this scenario, okay? You're in middle school, for, uh, in your second period, you like Jessica. You want to talk to Jessica? She's pretty, bro. She, everyone kind of likes her. You kind of, you guys kind of look at, you guys kind of look at each other sometimes. What would you have to do back in the day? At least, at least, dog. Write her a letter. Write her a letter. Tell her friend. At yeah. least, hey, I like her. And then somehow you still got to talk to each this. other. Yeah. <laughs> the little worst, fun. Yeah. <laughs> worst case scenario, this is like, this is the best that could happen to you. You get her number. And guess what? You still got to call the number and have the boss to type the number in and call it. On, and you know what they do now? Find each other on Instagram and DM each other. It's not that hard, bro. It's not that tar- It's not that traumatizing to not to be left on red. Like it is when some chick's like, nah, fool, in person. I don't know, but even then, bro, think about it, bro. Like, these little bitches, like, they fucking spend so much time on Instagram, so they know how to unsend shit before you even seen it. Like, a bitch will never open your shit, bro. Like, they'll treat you like a, you know, like, like just like, fool, they're probably colder, bro. Like, little moritas are probably cold, dog. You think they're savages? Fuck yeah, dog. Like... These fools, like, all right, for the ge- it's known as a fact, like, you know, that the generation that's out there that's younger is fucking way before our shit. So, like, think about it, bro. They're out there fucking, like, fucking already, bro. Like, having feelings that we didn't have so we got as an adult, bro. They're, they're, you're growing up a lot faster, and they're, they're learning how to be colder faster. Their innocence goes away faster. They don't give a fuck, bro. Like, that's why the criminals of today are younger. Like, yeah. like, think about it, bro. Like, uh, you, like the criminals of today are fucking way younger. Like, bro. you know what I'm super impressed about the criminals t- of today? I'm not impressed by none, but you know. What are you talking about? You're not impressed by the criminals of today? Those hackers, those young hackers that know how to hack into like Microsoft and like into Bitcoin, and they stole from the government. Now the government's like after them. Like, oh, most like wanted. that crypto fool? Yeah, most wanted. This kid's like 16 years old, bro, and he's just hacking into shit. I'm like, I'm not like impressed by what I mean because they're doing it wrong. They they could use that for better, but to me, I'm still like, bro, that's a genius. Like, you hacked into Microsoft all because you wanted. Halo 6 before it came out? Yeah, like... The, the, That's fucking wild, bro, to me. I'm like, and these fools go to jail for shit like that? Those and- fools those, those fools are like are the type of fools that I was talking about were like, man, I swear, hey, dog, did you see what happened with the last clip that I posted up? Man, fools started going in oh, on me. Oh, dog, like, they were going in on you. I told you that... Just, hey, but I held my own, though. People, you were, yeah, <laughs> I was going in back. I was like, this is the smartest I've ever sounded. <laughs> I was like, Chad GPT, how do you respond to this? <laughs> 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 Like, but uh, but yeah, bro, fools are getting hella, hella people mad. People want kids, dog. People want to fucking be human. And all I'm saying is produce fuck. quality, not quantity. You know what I'm saying? Fucking practice good habits, bro. Like if you if like if you already have one and you're like, hey, this fool doesn't listen to me. He's shitting on the walls. He's writing on the walls. He fucking does it. Does whatever the fuck he wants. Maybe don't have another one till you fix that one. You know what I mean? Because that one right here, it had, it, this Terminator <laughs> mouth right here with the all silver teeth. <laughs> so, like, yeah, like, like you need to fucking fix this spawn of a child here. <laughs> and fucking, before you fucking want to create another fucking uh, evil Powerpuff girl. <laughs> you know, or some shit, bro. Nah. You remember that episode? Which episode? It was the evil Powerpuff girl and fucked all three of them up. Yeah, I think so. Or I th- yeah, I think it started with one, and then like this bitch got fucked up by all three of them, and they laughed at her. Yeah. And this bitch went and created all the other two evil ones, so they just fucked them up completely. Was it that like that chick with the freckles? It was something, yeah. bro. Like like there was an abandoned little little Powerpuff Girl, bro. That was a badass show. I was about to say Powerpuff Girls was a cool show, even though it was meant it's for on girls. HBO Max. I don't think it was meant for girls. It's just like oh, no, it was meant. Dog, come on! It was like it was supposed oh, but to dude, like. I think which like is cool. Japanese I mean, fools, they don't look. At, they don't make shit like that because like fool. When I was in Japan, they were jerking off. Was, that. No, don't tell I, me these. No, fools when I was in Japan, fool. Powerpuff there's girls. fools. Fools out there. I'm like, you know, I saw like me and my girl went to eat for falafel at Akibara, and we were just like, I was like, oh damn. You don't act like we know what that is. 
It's it's a, it's a, <laughs> it, it, it's a, a falafel. You know what a falafel is, bitch? Oh, that that. that oh, f- they have that in Japan? Yeah, fool. There's a hell, of, hell of Indians there, bro. Okay, Indians okay, are not okay, Indians are bad, not my violent. Bad, my bad. So like, so these fools have a falafel spot. So me, me, me and her went. I had just bought my my Pokemon card grail. The one Pokemon card I wanted, bro. Happy as fuck. I see this like square ass fucking like j- like Japanese fool sitting in the counter. And he has a stack of cards and he's just opening packs. Boom, 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 boom. And I go up to that fool and I'm like, what do you have? I was like, Pokemon? He's like, no. Fool. And then I keep walking around and all these nerd fools are just buying. It's a girl anime. These fucking these girls that just have powers. And most of the guys that are collectors, like most of the collectors yeah. are guys. So oh, I'm that's smart. So they don't, fu- they don't fucking. I think when the Japanese anime fools make this shit, they don't make it like gender. The preference for gender. I think they just kind of do it just. Oh, it's gonna appeal more to here, but it's they they kind of consider both markets. If you want to say like, but because a lot of guys like grow enemies over there. Yeah. What, what do you think about? I want to find a good new enemy, man. If somebody say Izo needs to go to the ghetto spots of Japan, no, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't fucking need to, bro. I, hey, hey, wait, wait, what up? In your defense, Izo, in your own defense, I thought Japan was pretty much safe. So how ghetto could the ghetto be, dog? What they consider ghetto is because what they consider ghetto. I imagine the guy is saying is because he sees. That people dress like people from the ghetto, probably where he's at. But the thing is, the people that are dressing like the people from the ghetto over here, they fucking don't behave like the animals out here. Like the fools that dress up with Pendletons over there aren't driving around in a lowrider, shooting up the neighborhood and killing an innocent baby every now and then. You know what I'm saying? These fools are just like the culture of it. Fools aren't out, fools aren't out there riding scribble scrabbles and fucking crossing each other out because they think they own the property when the government could come through and fuck everybody in there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like these fools do it respectfully. They got it down right, dog. They'd actually, they, you know, that's the one thing. So what you consider ghetto out there, matter of fact, if I can, and I do have a, a couple of uh, Japanese homies that I'm going to be rolling with uh, certain times out there, I will try to ask these fools to take me to some places like that. You know what I mean? Because I'm pretty sure it's not going to be as bad as you might fucking think. Pretty much. You ever been to the ghettos of Beverly Hills? They have ghettos of Beverly Hills? Well, that's how Danny Brown jokes about it. I remember one time I was cruising with him in the, like, Brentwood area and all that stuff. Well, the Riviera area. And he took me to this, probably like an alley, or what they would consider an alley over there. But, like, you can tell the difference of... um, Socioeconomics between certain rich areas like, and certain like, like instantly, lesser like, rich areas. Like instantly, we're talking like Rolls Royce to like Corvettes. Shit, <laughs> all kinds of shit. Yeah, but you I'll can tell. No, like upper, yeah. Yeah, you can tell we're like, oh, this is like super Kim Kardashian, and then this is just like you, yeah. you, you made one sitcom and then you kind of fell off. Yeah, we threw, we drove through this like driveway of sorts. It's like a long alley of sorts, and he's like, "Welcome to the slums of Beverly Hills," and it's like. I don't know. It's just. It's what just is it? Where is it? Alley and there's no tagging. It's just, you know, trash mm-hmm. cans outside. That's Where is it? Somewhere in um like Beverly Hills area and all that stuff. Lapeer Drive. Something like that, Riviera, area. Hmm. Yeah. Close to that, like a couple of blocks from that. Watch, Gilbert lives around. Watch there. Death Note, fool. Have you watched Death Note? Watch Death Note's anime. That's good. And for me to tell you that there's, uh, I like any anime. That Death Note one is good. Have you watched it, Ray? Nah, I've never seen it. I've sort of like read it before. It wasn't really my thing. Jose, for sure, for sure likes that shit. No, they, they made a movie. It's it's good enough that Netflix tried to make a movie out of it. That's all I got to say. It's got to be somewhat good if Netflix said, let me try to make it. The movie's trash, though. Watch the anime first, then watch the movie. But the movie's... They tried really hard, but it's trash. I Just like kind of like the One Piece... Uh, anime that they made, trash. The movie's trash. The uh, anime. Series? I mean, I, I heard reviews, but I heard that's like anime. super huge in Japan, bro. Like it, at the mall, they you have the pirate it? ship. They like that shit's everywhere. Like you haven't tried watching it. I'm kind of sad that the Pokemon's not as big. You haven't tried watching One Piece. Why not? Why don't you give it a shot? You're asking for a good anime. It's got to be good if it's that fucking popular. It's like 13. You know why? Because they like eat that. curry. What's eat? Cur- they eat curry in the show. Yeah. That's and why you, and, bro, every, and, every, and, and every time I fucking 
Every time I see that shit, I can smell it, bro. Like, every time I see that yellow curry yeah. and they mix it in with the rice, I literally fucking smell that shit. I'm like, fuck this. No, I think they're fighting for water in that show. Something about water. There's oceans. It's... I talked to the guy. Remember the guy that... Oh, One Piece. No, no, no. What's his name? The One Glass? What one glass? Who's your homie that does glass that was next door for with the, does the candles? Super Intanime. Puffs pen? Oh, that, that, that Dan Fu? Yeah. Yeah. He was telling me that that's one of his favorite animes, One Piece, and he was explaining it to me. He was all into it, bro. But I yeah. guess it's like 13 seasons or some shit like that. It's been going on. It's like well, the longest running show in, for, in ever, ever, I think. I well, The last anime I watched was, uh, what's that one with the cars, Ray? Oh, Initial D. Initial D. That's a lot. Uh, but that's old school, old school anime because I... Just like the way that it's it's drawn, fool. Like I went down the wormhole and seen like how, um, like the fool who created that shit, like anime, like the fool that inspired it. Like there, I'm, I'm probably gonna go see that in a museum out there because they have a, his exhibit. It's crazy that fool hand painted like all that shit, bro. Yeah. Like that style was because of this this one fool dog, like some Japanese fool. That was like the forefather of anime. Shit, that's dope. Yeah, that's just it's a, it's a whole a whole fucking. Get down and shit. You watch any Studio Ghibli? E Zone. I I've seen it. Watch. <clears throat> I've seen it just to watch it, but they didn't really like. Get, didn't get into it. I was just like, oh, that's sick. Like, that's kind of cool. You'd be surprised. Look at another one next time and really like just think about the <clears throat> fact that it took a team to do that hand drawn animation. Fool Latinos be liking fucking at, like anime, huh? Like like whenever when you go to 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 the Comic Con, what do you see there a majority fool? Max, Asians and Mexicans. <laughs> Asians don't lie. Asians, oh yeah, no, Asian, no. it's a number yeah, one. Yeah, but Asian, that's but... natural. That's like fucking Chinese food. Chinese I'm, fools I'm, don't yeah. like in China, not like Chinese food. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. but like it goes hand in hand, dog. <clears throat> but like full majority, there's a lot of Mexican fools, dog. You know what kind of sucks though when you see like because you know like. The Mexican nerd fools, they're all kind of fat, right? So they all kind of try to dress up. So, you know, you see some of the characters dress up, you know, when it's a Mexican guy in the suit because you see a little panza. Oh, yeah. A little, little <laughs> You see a little okay, panza they, they on love, Spider-Man, yeah. dog. You see a fucking panza on a samurai. I like that. Goku's not fat, dog. It's like you think you're Marjan Boo, right. dog. <laughs> hey, uh, you know what I found out? This is crazy. I don't even know what, who, where I read this. But did you know that? Pull this article up, Ray. Maybe Ray can pull it up. But did you know that, like, when it gets hot, Bees like die of heat and they like come and shit. Come? Yeah, they like ejaculate. Just type in that. Type in bees heat. Someone sent me this and I couldn't believe. It. I was like, "Well, I got. I got to talk about this on the podcast." Because I looked into it, and I was like, "There's no way." And someone told me to literally tell you, tell you on this. He loves shit like this. Did you pull it up, Ray? Did, did anything come up? Here you go. Dude, it's fucking crazy, dude. Like just because it gets hot, they nut and die. Why do they come though? <laughs> There's a photo Dude it's fucking crazy Imagine Oh you... I got another photo Midget Mike sent me too Oh fuck Is it good? Is it better? It's like kind of is disturbing Is it big Mike? Nah it's kind of disturbing At 42 degree, degree Celsius Drones Honeybees Ejaculate themselves to death What's the, the What's the bees dick? Right that there You thing? see that pink thing? Yeah dude and I guess it's just it's too hot. I guess I don't know what the fuck's going on, but if it gets too hot for these fools, they just fucking jizz. You know, we don't have that problem right now, fool. Jizzing? No, like, like, <laughs> like, 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 like it be it, it being hot. It's nice. I like it. That's what I've been. Nah, fool, it's, it's about to be fucking hella storms coming oh, on. It's this gonna week. rain. It's, it's gonna rain today and tomorrow. Yeah, no, tomorrow and Saturday. It's, it's gonna rain. Why you wear? Yeah, bro, but it's I, I, like climate change is fucking going on. I don't know about this climate change. Xavier, are you fucking serious? Like, dude? it's you happening? Don't believe in climate change? Look, 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 You're going to disagree look, with Joe Rogan? Especially look, what we do it? Look, 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 look. Not saying that. You're going to disagree with look, Joe? Look, look, look. I'm not saying climate change ain't real, but the way America wants to run climate change ain't going to help. Like, let's say we stop polluting. You know how much China and India pollute? It don't matter. So unless the whole world gets involved, they're just going to get better and better than we're getting. Can we just nuke them? Well, that's why it takes a nation, you know. Yeah, and then their nation gets better because they don't give a fuck. They're all about production. No one told us to stop when we were sometimes doing it. Sometimes too much production can kill a business. It sometimes can, but... You know, especially... That's why they have, like, safety regulations, safety 
organizations oh, that oversee shit like that to make sure that everything's running okay to right. their standards. All right, so okay, you guys, you guys are scared of this what called global warming, right? Yeah. All right, global warming shit. sounds horrible, right? Oh, it's hot. You know how you know how it gets when it gets cold. You ever heard of fucking uh, ice age? I'd rather it get hot a little bit. We're all like, oh, está haciendo calor. Like in Vegas, then to get cold, bro. Cold is bad. <sighs> cold is kills people. Cold is it. Plants can't live. <laughs> yeah, plants. The die. cold kills viruses of certain kinds, certain bacteria and shit. Damn. Certain things can't grow. <laughs> you're telling me it could have stopped COVID? You're onto something. Could well, be onto something, right? I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but I'm just, like, whoa. Hey, I'm saying it. Well, maybe we do need it to get cold. Certain colds, certain viruses going back to you. Bro, have you heard of Gypsy Rose? No, who's that? No way. You guys haven't heard of Gypsy Rose? So I watched this documentary about Gypsy Rose, dog, and she just got let out. She got let out like two, three weeks ago, a month ago, some shit like that. This bitch already has a boyfriend. She's already going to get married. She was a, a normal a normal baby, dog. This goes deep, deep down the hall. She's a normal baby. And... um. Her mom had her, obviously, and her mom started telling people that she was crippled and that she had leukemia. She never had anything, dog. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. No, say the name again. Gypsy Rose. That's okay, her name. Yeah, I've heard that's... of it. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yes, heard bro. Of it. It, there's a whole HBO documentary. Every, we, all, we all on Max. Shout out to DJ Pass, like always. But, bro, I watched this shit, and I think it was on HBO. It was I called think Ray's the only Rose. one that pays for his Max. Yeah, fucking up, right? It's always shout out to DJ well, Pass. I, pay, I, I still pay for cable. I don't pay for these apps. Fuck that, because I watch all those movies for free on the free website. Thank you, Colton. Thank you, Colton. Man, white people shout are out Three Eyes. Yeah, shout out to Three Eyes for that, yeah, too, for sure. Three Eyes, too. What's up? But, dude, so this Gypsy Rose lady, dog. So, like, imagine you had a kid or your wife had a kid or whatever, and she just, because this is a syndrome. This is a, 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 a disease or something that they have where they always want to be a caretaker. So she would tell people that her baby was crippled. She pushed her in a wheelchair, dog. She told them they had leukemia. She convinced doctors that she was crippled. It was goes deep, deep, deep that rabbit hole. And this late, this girl ends up becoming like a 22 year old, bro, like 23 year old, like a real person. She's like, bitch, I'm not. I can walk. And she's like, no. She's but you know how you're like manipulated where she can't control. Like anymore? she pretty much was trying to convince her that she was sick type of shit. Yeah, no, she everybody. She would shave her own daughter's head, dog, telling her she had leukemia. Bro, you gotta watch it. Like I, even though it's not breaking news, but like you gotta still watch. It. Even when I'm talking about, you're like, no fucking way. So this full, this girl becomes like a grown adult, dog eventually and she becomes like no offense like sexually like horny active so she gets on facebook starts like going on on, on like her boyfriend's apps like christian mingle and shit like for real so she met some guy on christian no bro she met some guy on this christian's app and he stops talking her he's a maniac bro he got caught jerking off at mcdonald's for nine hours he lo well okay first of all how do you <laughs> the stop mama dearest, right how do they not fucking stop him in between those nine hours i don't know dog you know what the fuck but for real i'm not making this shit up you guys can all look this up so she's, she falls in love with this guy, dog. And he's a maniac, too. He's, like, autistic. He has Asperger's, like, all this thing, Asperger's? Dog. Yeah, whatever it is. But is it the Mommy Dearest? The Mommy Dies. The Mommy Dearest documentary? No. Is it? No, I think I might be. I don't know. It's called Gypsy Rose. They pull it up. Yeah. I've seen this On shit HBO before. Max. So then, she, so this girl fucking tells, to, tells her boyfriend that she fell in love with. Okay, like, the truth. Like, I'm not crippled. I have hair. I my mom just shaves my head because she tells people she have leukemia. But they would give her mom like money, bro. Like she was like she would go to charities and like go fund me type of shit. She was like milking her daughter, dog. How hard do you think that is? You think we could lie and say we have a retarded friend? Very, very, very. Oh well, yeah, we can start go fund me for for a while. We got like, a couple pictures. No, but so so then, bro, he makes this guy. This guy falls in love with this girl like always because he's got Asperger's this well she starts sending him pictures like because they're into anime you know how those people are kind of into anime those nerdy on online people that are always on the in, the in the that's her dog yeah she's, mommy she starts yeah she starts sending um that guy like uh he's like oh i'm into dragon ball so she she, she dresses up like dragon oh ball doesn't Z this will convince her to kill her mom or some shit yeah, she convinced him to kill her mom that's just crazy dog. it's wild bro and she's out she's out now like she's out she got a husband married killing it allegedly you know what i mean like, yeah but dude yeah hey but the mom put her through hell no bro. the mom put her through hell but if you watch but this documentary is that, dude nah look, is she if you kill she, somebody like that hey, you, you gotta go away for a while is yeah. she married to that fool no 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 he's locked up for life he got he got he got the death penalty she only got like 10 years dog because the, the, the lawyer saw that her mom was like dude mistreating her bro imagine being told that you can't walk 
for years, homie, because you want money? It's, it is fucking sad, though. It's man. sad, it's dude. Sad. I feel bad for her, but I mean, it's I feel so bad for the fool. Why did he do it? You pussy, dog. What do you mean? It's you know dude. How you said oh, you're driven by money. You're driven by pussy. Yeah, and you know what he said too? He was he's a maniac too. He's like, when yeah, I kill your cool. mom, I want to rape her. Yeah, it, and then she's like, don't rape her, rape me. It'll be okay, bro. It was, dude. You gotta watch that. Like, you got. I'm telling you, but it's still not just. This it was is like, real life. Real life, bro. They have pictures. Like you gotta go down the rabbit hole, dude. Of this, like I couldn't believe. I'm watching it, and you I'm. You know like, what? I couldn't believe. Vince McMahon. Oh, Vince Damn. McMahon. I, have you read it? Have you read any of it? I don't I don't believe that he was writing you with the letter U and capitalizing That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, he the man's like a, a billionaire. Yeah, like, like, why is he writing like he's writing a caption on MySpace? <laughs> this, this guy's a fucking billionaire. You like when's the last time you, you wrote you dog? Or I I still put period. I took I try to put commas. I try Fuck to be like an you. adult sometimes. That's when I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when's the last time you wrote like that? I just have. I used to write like that. I'm not gonna lie. Like in like you know in MySpace days, you know you. I I write I, I don't know still like an idiot. I think I stopped IDK. writing like that when I realized I'm not cool anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> like you know when you have that realization where you're just like, all right. Not a part of the it crowd no more. Have you ever talked to some real paisas? Yeah. Well, their lingo is like fucked when, up. Whenever somebody writes a J-A-J-A, -J -A, blo I block them. <laughs> <laughs> That's like everybody in Mexico, but they really can't spell. Sometimes they'd be using like X for, X for some shit that isn't for what I thought it was. I hate texting. Sexual. Them. Yeah, sexual. Know, is it? That shit was kind of crazy, though. Have they oh, that means kiss. Have they proven, though? Have they proven that shit for Vince McMahon, though? Like, have they shown and be like, yup, those were the text messages. No consensual. None of that. None of that. That None of that, that to me said rape. Or you come here because I said so. It just says, I'm Vince McMahon. Uh, it'll, I run this. And if you want to be on stage, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> The biggest like he runs stage. it like a strip club, you know, like a strip club to him. Like either you fucking perform and you get on stage, you don't perform, you don't get on stage. Like I mean, that fool is a mastermind. It's his fucking show, dog. It is crazy though. It is crazy though. I would never participate in that. Like he's like, you're gonna gang bang so and so, and you're gonna do this. He but like, okay, well, like I just thought, like, is that true though? Like, did this bitch really say like, like, cause he was talking about, he was like. First we're gonna fuck it. I'm gonna fuck you. Then you're that then, then 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 like three. Then the whole crew's gonna fuck you, and you're gonna have so much cum. So much. Yeah, we're like fill you yeah, up. Yeah, like I'm like Dude, and that's it, just fucking like raunchy. Raunchy, bro. You know you know what's crazy? You know when you write like that, not like that, but you know when you start having the raunchy ass stuff you like think that. He was, he was high on coke or some shit. That, that's what I was gonna say. For when oh, you're on like, a like, fucking sick like ass. Oscar de la Hoya coke. Like I wear like I'll I'll put a dress on coke. Nah, that fool had that that's them. He might be a little half a fag or something. You know, I don't know what it is, bro. Like, like, like that. The, Man, you straight said it. Like, <laughs> like, I don't blame like, you. Like, 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 I don't like. Nah, I, that fool's that fool's got a pussy, dog. Yeah, oh, but that. every but every now and then, who's to say a dick slips in? You know what I mean? I'm just saying. A dress slips in. Like, 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 dick. I've done a lot of coke, but I've never thought about <laughs> never. Mm, Put lipstick on it, just like nah, bro. Like I don't fucking. If I ever thought about that, I would have never lived with George. You know, if if I'm like, dude, I, you know, sometimes I'm like on coke and I want to wear a dress. I'd never move in with George because imagine I'm with George and I fucking put on a dress and George's like, <laughs> like the fuck. Up? Imagine Eddie tells you he's like, I'm a, Eddie tells you I've always wanted to, I just can't find a dress this big. Hey, like like Oscar De La Hoya. Uh, like Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> yeah, but. <clears throat> well, you know what I heard? Word on the street is, and I know the word on the street. If you guys know, I know a guy from ESPN. He said that it was just like wild, bro. Like we're talking like eight, nine chicks. Like it's just maniac shit. When you put the dress on, <coughs> yeah, it wasn't just one. It was like no, nah, it was a couple. It was like two chicks. Yeah, no, it was like I heard it was. Like but at that point, I still okay. don't think so. I still don't okay, believe look, so. Look, look. But I've never also never been there where there's like nine, eight, nine, eight, eight seven. Okay, chicks but naked. let's let's. <laughs> let's be what let's be 100 though you got eight or nine chicks there and i'm oscar de la Hoya, and i'm like first of all i already got stamina the only problem that i feel like i'm gonna have is like keeping my dick hard so i would probably just want to be like 
I would be like, I would have one of some of those injections and then be like, all right, I'm going to make sure I fuck every single one of these chicks. Like, that's what's going to be going through my mind. Oh, a, I feel you. As a heterosexual man, yeah. like, how can I physically please all these nine bitches yeah. and still come out like the man? I agree. That's just how I would feel like if I'm thinking 1, like a heterosexual male. I'm not going to think of one of these bitches. First of all, if one of these bitches tells me to put a dress on, I'm giving her an uppercut. You know what I mean? Like if I'm Oscar De La Hoya, like bitch, go to sleep. Like, like I'm not. All I'm saying is like when the when the guy from ESPN told me because I was telling him like, bro, Oscar De La Hoya is a tr like you know he's a cross dresser. And the homie's like, no, dog. And I'm like, yeah, bro. He's like, I can't tell you, but he told me what this where he was at. I'm not justifying it, but he's like, if you were there, you think about it. That's all I'm saying. I I'm never like we said. We've never, dude. You've never been Oscar De La Hoya. What could these bitches be know, doing no, though? I want to know. Too. They're eating each other Can out. We get the interview with Oscar De La Hoya. Can we get the interview? Nah, after I what I said, I don't think he's gonna, he's gonna sock me too. <laughs> Trust me, there's nothing the yeah, homie could have told me. I know the. We gotta talk to Tattoo. <laughs> yeah, he he probably would. Look, homie, I'm not going to come here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about celeb. <laughs> bro, I don't know, dog. That's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, that sounds like there has to be something else in the mix. Like, because not, I don't think, maybe a little tweak. Something, bro. F your feelings. It was a ritual. Dude. Yeah. Hey, humiliation you know, ritual. Yeah. You put, you, you put this on, we'll let you win the championship. Would you the do w something like that? WNBA. Would you do something like that? Would you put a dress on? Hell no. Nah. nah, dog. Not even to, pa to get past at the comedy store. Not you even. You would do it. You thinking that low, bitch? <laughs> like, damn. That's no disrespect to the comedy store, but I'm over here thinking. I was like, how many specials we talking? How many specials? Yeah, how like, many oh, Netflix specials we talking? Am I gonna? Uh, Is George Lopez gonna be in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd be like, can at least George Lopez be in the movie? Okay, okay, okay. How many seasons of this sitcom? Do I get to? Have, <laughs> do I get to have my own high and hungry TV warehouse? <laughs> So instead of uh, Rob Deerdick's uh, Wild and Out, or what is it? Instead of Rob Deerdick's Ridiculousness, we're just going to make it E-Zone's Ridiculousness, and it's just going to be MTV Me? Because I, 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 I might wear a dress for that. If MTV became mine. Hey, was that one chick in the show? Chanel. Chanel West Coast. She's uh, finally a mom, right? Ex-baby girl. Ex -baby She's been a mom. Yeah, but, ex -baby yeah, mom. but then her. she, like, she, like, stopped. She, like, we saw she got fat. We pregnant. And we saw then she, she got, got fat. Pregnant. And then, like, she stopped posting for a while. Like, she wouldn't post as much because she was trying really hard to lose weight. And I think she's back to her accurate weight. Yeah. But to damn. her accurate weight. We but saw damn, she got pregnant. Her target weight. She was okay. looking like Miss Piggy for well, a while, dog. We were there when she got pregnant. Like, you know, like, you know, when, like, like, we not. We were there when she got pregnant. Like, not for nothing, bro. Like, some, like, you know, it's like. Somewhat, it's like uh, how some Mexican chicks, bro, they turn into a senora after they get pregnant. Like, they just have that senora body. They just stop caring about shit. Like, it's like some white chicks, they turn... Yeah. white white Some white chicks, they didn't look like Miss Piggy before, but then after they have that kid, oh. fucking, oink, oink. they start looking for Kermit. Oink, oink. Like, <laughs> like, like, you don't say oink, oink. But, uh, what was I going to say? Not like him, but he always says fucking people say that shit. Uh, what was I going to say? Fuck, but we were there when she got pregnant. I don't know if we were there yeah, when we she were. got pregnant. We because just... you looked at her and said, look, she's there with her new man in pregnant. the VIP. So? Remember, we were there. You gave oh, me. Oh, it was an event. Yeah, that's yeah, right. We yeah, we were there at the LFC game. And I was like, look, my baby girl. And she's like, that's not your baby girl. She got a man with her. And no, I no. Said, and then when she turned around, you, it was ruined for you. Yeah. Yeah, because she like... was pregnant. She we did go to the game. Yeah, and I, and I, I don't follow her. It was sad. He did, he did unfollow her. I had to. Oh, you what know who's pregnant too? Fucking uh, Caliucci's. Pedro must be sad. Pedro was oh, heartbroken yeah. when he saw that video. Guys, don't follow her. I like that he still has that in him where like he can like fantasize about actually liking somebody on TV. Like I literally look at everybody on TV and I fucking get pissed off. <laughs> like I'm just like fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, extra fuck you. Interview you, you're a dick. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like. Hulk hands. Where Kate is Kate's pregnant? pregnant? <laughs> no, she's not. I saw her this weekend. <laughs> oh, fucker got us. <laughs> I saw her this weekend. She's not. She's okay. healthy. She's cool. She's happy. She lives in Arizona now. Shout out to Kate. Yeah. Damn. Not, I'm not, gonna, not that I know her location, but yeah. Arizona's huge, bro. Uh, no, I, 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 no, I'm just saying, but. Shout out to her. Yeah. Man. Yeah, hey, man. Those, she made it. She, like, I was like, she made it, dog. <laughs> Shit. Shout out to us. Yeah. Shout out to the We Don't Smoke the yeah, Same Podcast. Bro. Anybody else want to send your little sister over here so we can fuck? <laughs> so we can marry her up. that right, dog. So we can uh, marry her up. <laughs> so, 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 you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, you never like the love connection over hey, here. Hey, fool, her brother's like the house to myself. Yeah, he loves it. <laughs> He's, dude, can you imagine her brother's like, I now I could this. do nose all day. I could do nose all day. She's good. Watching We Don't Smoke the Same. Those are the boys. <laughs> He's like, Thank I love you. the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. I got two rooms now. I got my office. <laughs> Hey, bro, we fucking really, because if you really think about it, that's how she got here. Yeah. Her brother, bro. Her brother listened to the show, and he's like, hey, they're looking for an intern. They're looking for some help. And we're like, run it. We'll give you fucking uh, college credit. Somebody <laughs> said, we don't miss Mr. McMahon to say, fuck y'all. <laughs> well, they don't want to. No, never mind. No, nah, bro. They, like, they, she, the only nah, thing she's she, the homegirl. The only thing. The, the, like you just said, you just saw her. The only thing she fucking saw was hella fights. Fucking, like, us taking... Was she here when we were doing drugs? Yeah, she was. Yeah, we were mad doing blow on that table. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, move, All right, wipe this off. Yeah, we're like, move, Kate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. We need the table, Kate. <laughs> we do have a badass table. Yeah, but, um, but yeah, so straight up, though. Uh, yeah, now she's cool, though. Shout you just have her. a lot of testosterone, you know. What the fool? You know, I saw a study that said why, like, Latino or Latino or Mexican or or Latino American men have a lot of testosterone. And it's just proven. Like we're, I think we ha- we produce that shit naturally. Like, I maybe maybe I, like you know how Bart's needed it at thirty eight. I'm probably not gonna need it till like forty eight or or fifty eight if that. You know what I mean? Like, cause to, yeah, I, but I, I would, think in our genetics, bro. Like, look at Bart's, bro, killing it. It looks like well, yeah, I, but he has to shoot himself in the ass every but, every time. But he's killing it. I rather kill it. I rather lose a couple years and kill it. Then be lazy, fuck my whole the rest like for for the till I'm fucking till I die. Look at him, full full on no sleeping. Got two fucking make making feeding all of LA basically. You know what's crazy? That is like the hardest thing for me to to do these days, bro. Like stay up. Can you turn my mic up or my headphones a little bit up, please? Uh, like that shit is like the hardest thing for me to do, bro. Staying up. How late do you stay? Yeah, for me too. It's hard. Full, like yesterday, bro. Like, well, yesterday was different though, cause I I I took like three RSO pills. I was like making them for the people. Well, that's why you can't stay up. No, for, well, for the for the people who uh you know who who got the new Indian hat, you know, oh, those tickets, are I'm not gonna tickets lie. to the show for the for everybody out there, just to let you guys know, it's almost sold out by the way. But uh yeah, so I, I like I I just was fighting this shit, and then so I was like, all right, cool, this is an RSO sleep, and then I'm like regular sleep. Fool, I want to say like yeah, by like ten thirty, I start feeling like if I'm not doing something to physically stimulate my mind or that. That's causing me to walk or do certain things. Like, yeah, I'm done. Like, even like at Disneyland, fool. I went there on Monday. Did not did not have the best time because it was just too damn packed and the fucking sun decided to come out. Oh, man. That shit pissed me off, dog. A lot of kids on a Monday? Dog, oh, my God. They... It's a random ass Monday, Let too. me tell you, dog. Disneyland <clears throat> ain't safe for, for um, you know... I mean, I'm gonna D- just Disneyland goers such as yourself. I'm gonna just tell you something right now. We as America right now, we're producing a lot of stupid ass kids, bro. Because we don't value these things. No, hold on, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. We're producing a lot of stupid ass kids, bro. You know how fucking pissed off it made me. Just, it, it made me to see. It at an all time packed fucking thing like I, it isn't like granted I know this is a place for kids and everybody's like what are you doing there bitch I I, I live in a capitalist nation I could spend my money as I fucking wish in a fucking democracy tell me zone I love that you said deal that. with that America uh, deal with that si fucking shit ir el bar. yeah dog you want to come over here and get these rights too bro you go you're mo- <laughs> right now you're welcome to walk right in if you want I think like ninety yeah. percent of these people are American <laughs> are in America watching <laughs> this he's on sense like we got a whole a whole fucking El Salvador and Mexico and they Brazil got internet there now, fool. <laughs> but yeah, fool. Escuchar. So no fumamos igual. So we're fucking producing. We're producing a lot of stupid ass kids, bro. So <laughs> <coughs> I didn't. I'm I'm over here walking around. I'm like, fool. Every ride is 90 minutes plus on both parks. So all I did. Damn, dog. <laughs> it's an hour and a half of movie. I didn't get on no ride. So all I did, I bought the pass for the Chinese New Year foods, and I was like, let Ooh. me film. A little, a few high hungry reels, and I'm gonna get on TikTok to, you know, like to, to try to see if I get a little traction, and then put it on, on YouTube too, and all this shit. Try to expand my boundaries, was bro. Was it good at least? Can yeah, you it was good. Least? The Chinese Lunar. Lo- yeah, you recommended the people. Yeah. yeah. Number one, they fucking per- they they made this chi- bro. I was like, you could tell they're fucking they're ready for the Chinese to take over, bro, because dead ass, bro. Every fucking hour, 
the Mulan fucking parade yeah, just kept Mulan. going around. Oh, going yeah, around. That's Mulan, Mulan China, grew yeah. up in, in China, and she let her father down. Her father is very proud of warrior. Now They're promoting this shit, dog? Yeah, dude, walking around different parts of California Adventure, the dragon and Mulan, it's all on some Asian it's shit. Like communist shit. Straight the fuck up. That's how I fucking felt, where I was like... This is like how you know and you know how Kim Jong makes them every every day at twelve. They all have to cry for him or some yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like like this is some shit where I was like, okay, fool. The, like I don't even see the electrical parade or the Main Street parade go down every fucking hour. But every hour, bro, they were fucking walking around with Mulan and the fucking dragon, and it was China fucking you know, she was the agenda. first tranny. Just saying. Well, I don't know about that, oh. but. Maybe the first cross dresser. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, My maybe bad. the Touché. first. Touché. Yeah, Touché. yeah, maybe Touché. the first cross dresser. First Oscar de Loya. Ooh, so it was all, but it was all <laughs> fucking packed, right? And I'm started thinking. I was like, man, this is why we're fucking falling behind, bro. When I went to Japan, when I went to Japan on to Disneyland on a Monday, I went. I think I went there on a fucking Monday. I was like, oh, it's gonna be packed. It was packed, but it wasn't packed that much with children. And the children that were there, you could tell they were on like a special occasion. They were either on vacation because there were foreign kids, and the kids that were there, they were there as like kind of like as a reward for a little school type of thing. They were oh, just like, like, hey, this is like a little thing. We're not going to miss school because school is more important unless you guys have earned it. Fool. I'm thinking, I was like, so after COVID, did we just not give a fuck about our children's education anymore? Not that I have kids or anything like that, but I'm saying like, do we just not care about fucking kids? Because I've been several times to a park on a Monday or Tuesday. And I'm just like, hey, fool, did, do these fools just not go to school? Is it just homeschooling? Or, like, do we just chat GPT all the answers there for them? Or, like, what's the deal, bro? Like, I've noticed that fools don't be taking their kids to school no more. Like, how the fuck? I remember going to school, bro, when I was younger. Fool, I could be with a fever. But if it wasn't over fucking 80 degrees or some shit like that, fool, hey, te va, te vas a ir a la escuela? Vas a ir a la escuela? Were your parents like that, too? Bro, I was so good at faking it. I Terry thought. sucks. Movie idea. He's on flies to Japan. Takes too much RSO and gets on the wrong plane to <laughs> North Korea. <laughs> Damn, that is a good premise. I do like that. I'll That's make sure to I'll make sure shit. to I'll make sure to pack a Dennis Rodman jersey if that was the case. Maybe I'd get some leniency. You know what I mean? Nah, you just gotta show him you're high and hungry. Trust me. You'd be like, I know good food, fool. He's a fat <laughs> and you know and you love Henny too. You just gotta tell him like, oh, I'm a Henny dude. He loves Henny. Jim yeah. Kaun loves Henny. Yeah, fool, but like honestly, I think like the like we don't even need to get attacked as a terrorist by a terrorist fucking country or something like that, bro. I just think like we're already doing it to our own kids. We don't prioritize certain shit, fool. Like these motherfuckers don't read, bro. It's audio book this, audio book that. Oh, I spend that. most of their time sheltered, like playing fucking video games all the fucking time, bro. Like I don't like no like like I'm just saying if you're not making the extra effort to make sure your kid gets enough outdoor fucking time. You're raising a jigglypuff. <laughs> For real. Like, like I'm sorry if it fuzzes. She's the way they go into the fucking park, bro. I'm not asking you to go hiking, bro, but let this motherfucker run, yeah. bro. Like, there has to be a balance, bro. But when I see, like, when I saw that amount of shit and somebody's like, have you heard of Chinese New Year, you fucking racist? Yeah, I fucking said it, bro. I covered all their fucking food, bro. I'm just saying, like, it just didn't fucking need to be every hour and guess to, what? for the and, fucking parade. And in, and in, in E-Zone's defense... Do you think China has an American parade? You think on the 4th of July they're out there giving out hot dogs and apple pies and no, steaks, motherfucker? No, they tell us that we fucking suck and that we fucking promote bad shit. So, yeah, they're not, they don't have a fucking, they don't have a Terminator Day. They don't have a fucking uh, Ram, uh, Rambo Day promoting America over there. I'm telling you that. Not in China. And you know what, what, the, what the crazy thing about it too, man, is just... Like it, that, like that. It was, it was just nuts to see that much school being cut, bro. Where I'm just like, it's not even no special holiday. Like, I, would, like, would you let, would you take your kid out for school for like, uh, was, like, the, like me personally thinking like when I have a kid, bro. Like if I do, you know, if and when I do have a kid, like I'd be thinking like on the other step ahead, I'd be like, all right, cool. If I made it somewhat decently smart and got a college degree off a of regular school. I'm for sure going to hustle enough to send my kid to a private school so he can learn some real shit. Because I know at a private school, they might teach a motherfucker extra skills that they took out of, out of like, the regular school. Like, hey, bro, you're going to have to get crafty every fucking, every, every fucking, uh, every hour once a day with your hands. You're going to have to learn how to build some shit. You're going to have to learn, maybe take a survival class in case you get lost in a fucking park one day. And I'm like, hey, bro, all that shit used to be public knowledge, but, like, now you got to pay extra for this shit. Like, only the rich motherfuckers or, like, the people who are paying 
fucking get to like access to such fucking knowledge, bro. Yeah. No, but you weren't good at you weren't good at uh, at faking an illness. Dude, I was I was kind of good. My my parents caught up, but I would start fake. I would start saying I was sick on Saturday night. Oh, Saturday night, I'm already sick. My head hurts. <coughs> Mom, my throat hurt. Mom, Saturday night, that way Sunday I'm sick. Monday, I'm worse. I'm worse, mom. I can't go in. Sometimes they knew too. Sometimes I'd be like, man. Sometimes I played off where I was like, I don't even want to go. To, I don't even want to go to fucking uncle's party. I'm not being enfermo. And I played off so well. They're like, well, we know you're lying, but it looks like you really don't want to go for whatever reason. You don't have to go. My parents were pretty cool with that. Salchemy said, you're wrong, Ezone. I went to a private school in La Canada, Flint Ridge. It's about uh, ambition and dedication. Yeah, but that ambition and dedication starts at the house, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, it comes down to raising quality, not quantity, bro. Yeah. Hey, did you hear that? Who, who was that guy that wrote that? Exactly. Someone, no, no. Someone on here said, man, I hated standing up to do the pe- Pledge of Allegiance. What a hater. Well, your pa- what a hater, dog. Well, you should have told your parents that shit, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if my parents crossed the border for, that, for, for my fucking kid to tell me that, <laughs> hey, fool, you could call CPS, but I'm going to slap the fuck out of you like Suge Knight walked into the club and got this P. Fool, Diddy. This fool <laughs> said that with no shame. I can't find it. I don't know who it was, but I read it. Someone said, bro, I hate it standing up for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> So, so if I was an immigrant parent, dog, I'm giving them one of them fucking Suge Knight, Jermaine Dupree oh, slaps. Bam! Where is this fucking? Oh, right there. Who is it? Oh, of course, Hulk hands. Anyone else? Amen. Oh no, that wasn't him. Somebody, look, Jeffy's right. You could claim being sick uh, on a Monday, but you no, you could claim being sick, but you didn't end up at Disneyland like he's saying on a Monday. Oh, thank you, bro. You're right. You're right. If I stayed You're home right. sick. If You're, I stayed home sick, fool, I my grandma up. was making me shit for my stomach, medicine I didn't want to drink, taking all this food. I couldn't eat junk food. Nope. I had to eat only stuff that wasn't going to upset my stomach. Like, no, que estabas enfermo, cabrón. Yeah. It was, oh, you know, vas a jugar football Tuesday. Oh, by, oh kids, yeah, that, no. kids that are sick don't play video games. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, grandma. Nah, not my grandma. I know you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I said, but little kid shit. Yeah. When you're a little kid, dog, you don't think I said that one time my yeah. mom? Uh, oh, okay, so I was Oh, man, you're making me remember my grandma Okay, so You know how you're a little kid And uh, there's not enough extension cords So you yeah. put the PlayStation On the extension cord Where the light comes on and off right. You put the extension cord When the light comes on and off Yeah, yeah, yeah No, You know the, the light? Yeah So I put it on And my grandma didn't know And I was beating this game And I didn't save it She comes on Turns the light off Turns off the PlayStation I was like, Vales verga, abuelita, fool. I got hit so hard, dog. <laughs> you told that shit bro, to you, I didn't mean to come out, dog. I would never say that, dog. But it was that <laughs> thing where I'm beating this game. You're in the game, <laughs> dog. Vales verga, abuelita, fool. I was in the game, homie. And there wasn't enough cables because I wanted to play I wanted to play music. No, because we had speakers back then. So I want to play music. I had the TV. Damn, yeah, people in the chat room are fucking saying te pasas, fool. Me pasé, dog. You don't think she came in backhanded me, dog? Be... Toma, wey. I really said, y te pasas de verga, abuelita. No shame, What's that paso? No, bro, bro. And then, for well, that got turned off. She told my dad. My dad took the PlayStation away for the rest of the day. <laughs> Neta, sí que se pasó, wey. Sí se pasó. No, I was, I was last what level. What game was it? Huh? Uh, oh, I'll let you know which one it was. Uh, I don't know if you played it, but I was killing it in the game. You play um, NFL Street? Yeah, NFL shoes, was dope. I'm not an NFL like I don't like any like fucking two. Uh, it wasn't like, even worth it though. What do you mean? Like NFL Street was oh no, no Street one the yeah Street I remember. one. You the remember the one. basketball version of that game? Uh, they had like NBA hoops or something. Yeah. hoops, yeah, that shit was dope. It's because the soundtracks were hot, dog. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, the soundtracks were dope. Just like midnight. They had Nelly in the soundtrack. Oh, what's happening now? Hey, did <laughs> you ever put the bandaid? Nah, hell no, nah. that was a negative. I tried game. to I tried to put it on. My mom like, ¿qué es eso? Te cortaste? <laughs> and I was like, no, ma, it looks good. She's like, tú y tus pendejadas. I th- and uh, she was like, yeah. Was, I remember when uh, I started that, fucking matching, quick. fool. Oh, like row row matching? <laughs> like, I remember, like, because I've always been like that, fool. <coughs> Excuse me. I've always been like that, fool, like matching and shit. <coughs> when I had hair, just I just didn't have the, 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 the hat to match because I would have, I just had my hair. But I have my pro club and my shoes or my shorts or whatever. Yeah. And then I was just like, I would match all the time. And then my, I remember my parents just like, Te viste puro negro. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Just I'm matching just, yeah, like I'm just, <laughs> and I remember looking at them like you know, and, and, and what that means and to everybody out there who's to the two black guy viewers that we have, it means that she pretty much said he's like, why you dress like a black guy? You know, just of course naive parents. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, and I, and I'm just like, what? And I'm just like, so me matching, <laughs> like, yeah. like it's, it's 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 me imitating yeah. a whole culture. Yeah. Just yeah, like, like I, just how the house matches. That's exactly how. I yeah, want like to I did. Like that's kind of like what I brought up. I was like, you want to match the drapes to the fucking wall? Mm-hmm. I was like, but me matching my fucking shoes to this yeah, cool. fucking guy. He's like, oh. no tienes que ser marcado. I was like, I'm just fucking giving yeah. you logic. <laughs> now the first time I got a lineup, my dad thought I joined a gang. Stupid dog. I swear, dog. I showed up because you know you have though. You know I used to go to el salon. When you go to the salon, your dad takes you to the salon, or you just get a fucking a number five. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, did you go to the beauty salon before you go into the barbershop yeah. when you were a kid? Oh, my dad, my dad don't go. My dad thinks it's my dad thinks it's so gay for a man to give me a haircut. Do you do jotadas? Literally every that weekend. That, is that why they took you to the salon? That yeah. You know what's crazy for? Yeah, it, I, it, always it per, I always thought it was some. I always thought it was some pervertive ass shit. Fool. Yeah, my hits on them. I thought I always thought it was some pervertive ass shit because fool, when I was a kid, fool, I would get all nervous, <laughs> like. Cause the bitch would be cutting your hair, and this girl that would cut my hair, she has some big titties. She, my dad would always oh, go to the young one, your face. and they put them in your face, and they're just like, and fool, like you're just like a little kid, and you're the first little nervioso and shit. I, I didn't stick my tongue out, bitch. I'm it, like fucking twelve, bitch. Now that I think, I was like, I should have, and I don't think they would have gave a fuck. Like, like and, and, you know, and, and I remember my dad taking me to uh, to to the barber shops and stuff like that, and then there would be like the girl to cut your hair, right, and then. I, that's why they go there, fool. Yeah. Like to to get to all horneados and all shit, horneado. fool. Like they go there because the young girl is gonna be shoving their fucking the, the her face and yeah. her tits in your face while she's cutting your 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 lineup and shit or doing certain things, bro. Like I'm, I'm gonna I burn my put, dad. I'm gonna burn my dad out right now. So it would take me to the sal- el salon, and right before we got there, it is mi sobrino. Damn, so he did Straight didn't... up, dog. I'm not, I wasn't even mad at the time because he was young. He was like, did he let's get me sobrino? And I'll hook you up later. And like, the cool thing right, is that bro. like when I was when I was growing up, it. they would always tell my dad, it's tu hermano. Like that kind of shit. So yeah. like they would always tell that because like my dad, always, yeah. he looked younger too. So like, you know. Was... Oh yeah, my dad was fucking little. Now he looks yeah, but, older. I just had lunch with him yesterday. Yeah, but that's why you fucking, how was that? It was cool. It feels, it feels cool to have like, to have those kind of experiences again, like I took him to Bistaqueria because he likes a lot of ceviche and shit. So at least I know, like, I'm like, oh, shit. He never had no ceviche like that. He was like, what the fuck is this? Because when it came out, like, he looked at it, he was like, this is what the fuck you told me we were going to eat. Like, I was like, chill, food is good, dog. Like, <laughs> Did he like it, though? No, he, he yeah. fucked it up. Yeah, he fucked up every, every uh everything up in there. Might take him to Correa's next because that's the kind of ceviche he likes. Oh, that shit's fine. I like, it's, now it's kind of cool, though, bro. I like, I like having that kind of experience because I get to, like, fucking, like, uh, like I can't take my I can't like it's not that I can't take my mom to like a bar, it's just not it's ideal. Just vibe. Yeah, it's just and it's not right. that my dad drinks or something like that, but it's like I know at least if I'm gonna have like four beers or three beers, I'd be like, hey, like, like I can see I we could order some oysters here, you could chill. Yeah. But like he's I could show see, me I, I could see you hitting me up and be like, yo, dude, my girl's not going to the game this week. It's my dad. I could see you telling me that. Yeah, hey, I, I, what? <laughs> hey, we might have a we might have a, a a third a third person come sit up here by request. Yeah, he can come up here if he wants. Oh, shit. Yeah, let him up here. Did you hear what I said, though? What? I said I could see you hitting me up and be like, yo, dude, guess who's coming to the game today this weekend? I'm like, who? I'm like, my dad. I can see you taking your dad to an LAFC game. Oh, yeah, it's going to happen. 100%. I'm gonna, I can I'm gonna, like, I'm like you said, you, I couldn't see you bringing your mom. If you told me your, my mom's coming, be like, not weird, oh, but like, I, did she ask? I told like, my dad I smoked weed yesterday. Well, he knows. No, I don't, but nah, like, I that guy's. I like how he's on that. You acting like you came out or something. I was like, I told my nah, dad. <laughs> but he told you that you smoke weed. Nah, he but smelled like, the weed when you I know, but, up. but like, but like, food. My dad was always like super strict, bro. Like, he's like, hella, like, like, fool. Like, it, there was fear. Like, I remember when I started drinking and I, when I came home drunk, he whooped my ass, fool. Like, that was an ass right. whooping I never forget. Like, cause he didn't drink. He was like, bitch, I can't drink. You're gonna, like, to set yeah. the example, like, and you come home drunk, fuck this. So, you tell so, me you're a stoner or you smoke? Yeah, no, no. I, t- I told him everything that I do, like okay, my okay, career okay. and yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? And, <laughs> and then he was just like, you know, like it was cool about it, you know what I mean? Like he kind of understood it and I was just like, yeah, man. And he was like, he, he kind of told me exactly what I wanted to say. He was like, well, 
is paying your bills? He was like, yeah. He was like, well, then, échale ganas. <laughs> yeah. And then he was like, okay, más fumar. Yeah, like, más like, voy a fumar. Like, I was like, echo más ganas. In my head, I was like, my, I was like, I was like my father's approval. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, I was like. No, was, but that's what's up. That's was, exactly what my parents say. My parents don't want me smoking weed, but I'm like, yo, it, I don't really pay for it. It's kind of what I do. It's probably who I am. I'm like, well. What the fuck am I going to tell you? You're if, I do, girl, if I do go to an LAFC game and I do get it, I'm going to try to see if I get like one of those sweets. Not the bottom ones, but like a I nice little one. We haven't had, nice we haven't had a sweet. No, but like, I mean, of course, everybody's probably had to put in on that, but yeah, we'll, we we'll should, vlog no. it though. Yeah, we'll we vlog should. it. I'm super down for it. I'm bro. trying to see if we vlog it and then we stream this shit live. Yeah. I'm going to oh, see, yeah. if, if, see if we can get your yeah. to that. And because because we could probably just blaze it in there too. I don't know about that. I, no, I'm telling you, like we could probably fucking just like take a puff or fucking, something. Yeah. Oh, puff go probably. Yeah. It's like I'll I'll, I'll figure it out, but, but hey, I, I anything, know we could definitely do it. Yeah. If anything, we'll get like a like an air purifier. Yeah. So we get we gotta have something to we put. Yeah. Pro pen. I, no yeah. pen. Pro Easy. pens or no pen. Somebody. All right. Uh, let's read some of these comments. I'm gonna read them up, not the super chats, but some of the ones that stand out. A pimp named Boogie said the lady at a salon when I was a kid was related to me somehow, B. She used to put her titties in my face. I was always leaving with a boner. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Grimace S says, Mil señoras, they can cut hair good at a salon. Be there for a limited time only. Oh, yeah. For real, dog. Somebody somebody actually goes in there and says, I could take you away from oh, all this. You don't have to cut hair no more. You don't have to touch guys like me. It's usually like a trucker with a CDL license. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, next one. Uh, let me see. It says, you think he just knew the person giving haircuts had big tits? Nah. I, they always they always know. Dads know, bro. Like, dads are, like, fucking, like, they, they be knowing, dog. Yeah. Yeah, they be fucking knowing. So my older brother got his ears pierced and my dad asked, it is joto o qué? Damn. No, full, that's how Mexicans are, fool. When, when, I, wanted, when I wanted my But they ask pierced, you, like, or they would ask you the equivalent to, like, what are you? Like, like I would imagine if I was an Italian person and I lived in Boston, it's like, what are you, a fag? Dog, I... I <laughs> I was a I was a high school I went to part I was like a, hus, a high school fuck but you don't think I wanted earrings when I was a kid, like diamond earrings, star diamond. My dad said no. He's like you get earrings, no more fuck pura stangas desde ahí. Yeah. Yeah, but let me get a tattoo. He said no earrings, but tattoos are okay. He said you have to wear women's underwear. Yeah. He's like you buy. I was like I see you with earrings, pura stangas desde aquí, and I and I, and I was like what are you talking about, dad? But no, nah, that's how they are, fool. Earrings are like. I mean, earrings are pretty good. Cur- like, they got curly, but it started with the girl. Like in the nineties, remember when you you could only have one? Oh, no, is it one or two? What is it? I don't know what. It, like, do you think earrings are just like something that we're? Because I I don't see myself giving those up, fool. Like I see myself like, hey, bro, like, but you I gave hit- up the gauges. I never had gauges. Oh, you never had gauges? Hell no, fool. I tried having those oh, one they- time. My dad had an earring. I tried just one, huh? Just one. Yeah, it used to be. Does one. he still yeah, rock it? He took it off when I was maybe five or six years old. Oh, then then he was like, "Hey, so you've been rocking that for a bit." <laughs> your, your dad was like, "This ain't player no more." <laughs> no, I, mean, I used to like to. He used to go club and do. He liked to club and dance. And I'm telling that. you, Ray has a cool dad. Like he, like his dad did like cool shit. Like he, like like his dad is like. A, does your dad still date? Or is he? Does he? he has still, a girlfriend. Okay, he has a girlfriend. Yeah. But like prior to that, because I've known his dad for a minute. Yeah, he would date around. I would, I would see him like I was like, "Where's your dad going?" I was like, "Damn, that fool's wearing cologne." <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like yeah, like oh yeah, Mexico, yeah, yeah, like he's I'm like he's wearing yeah. cologne. I yeah, was like, he oh, has an extensive, extensive cologne collection. I was like, nice. damn, this. I was like, he's he always got a date. I was like, damn, look at this fool. He got this player on, dog. Probably going to go dance cumbias and shit. Is, is he, he he's Chicano? <laughs> no, 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 Chilango. I meant Chilango. So he's, he's from Mendefe? Oh, he's from Salvador. He's, yeah. yeah, he's Salvador, dude. Yeah, I don't know why you're... I, when I met him, I don't know why your dad gave me uh, uh, Chilango vibes. Hey. Yeah, there, you're right. I guess. You know, you're right. I forgot to. Salvadorian. My dad might give you one of those kind of vibes. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, also joining us, Woo-hoo. which is for the first time ever. The best roller. The by, best... By request. Is this the first time you've been on the show? Nah, it's oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well... Best roller in the building, in my opinion. Yeah, turn this mic on, yeah. Check, check, check. Oh, there it is. There, there it is. is. Best roller in the building, in my opinion. Facts. Second place, in my opinion. Let's give it up for Aton. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what an intro by Aton. Always got ruined it. He's always so friendly. Right? Who are your funkies? Oh, there's OG in here, too, who decided to just do whatever he wants. As long as he don't knock the camera, as long as he don't bart it. Get back over here. Get over here, bud. So what's up, dog? How you been? 
Doing all right. I'm a bit high right now. We talk- I'm caffeinated too. So did you did you catch the beginning of the show? Uh, I got a little bit of it. I have to say, I rarely agree with E Zone, but I gotta say, I gotta agree with the uh, what he said about uh, the kids being brought up nowadays. Mm, okay. in the U.S. Yeah, we're an embarrassment. I do agree. I saw some kid writing on uh, on the walls at brunch, and you know it's a brunch. It's Sunday. It's supposed to be fancy. There's you know you, yeah, it's not IHOP brunch. It was supposed to be a fancy okay. spot. There was a bloody mimosas and shit. Right. Bloody mimosas. <laughs> bloody Marys. Whatever, but you fucking saw the kids, and I'm just embarrassed for those people. I'm like, bro, you're not stopping your kid. Like, I would ask for the check on site. On site, do you have something for me to clean this off? The parents just looked, said, take down. They kept drinking, asked for another mimosa, and acted like the kid just didn't draw on the I fucking mean, wall. That's just one thing, but, it was like, if you go to the movies. If you go to the movies nowadays, it's probably one of the worst experiences in L.A., where the kids just allow their, I mean, the parents just allow their kids to run around, yell, Use their cell phones. They yep. these kids have cell phones, and they're probably like seven or eight. Yeah, and they're using their cell phones, doing Snapchat stories, using the flash in the middle of a movie. So if you want to go to the movies in LA, it's fucking horrible. Wait, we're a lot of cuss here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. of course. No rules. Yeah, no, no rules. rules. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, some rules. Another some rules. thing I gotta ask you. Well, I asked rules. you if you watched the, the beginning of the show because Ezo had a fucking. He dropped some knowledge. Or like we, what? Well, we think knowledge. I do, but you might disagree. Like what? Fact on, check time. No. On, uh, on on the <laughs> photographers in LA. How what there's some him? creepy ones. No I, just, no, I just said that like there's different types of photographers in LA that you're good. Like I said, like you can literally meet different people in other states and like other like you you can find somebody wholesome in like maybe middle America who probably like develops a love for photography and falls in love with for what it actually is. They're but great. they have a passion for it. But yeah. in major cities, you find different types of photographers. Like you could find people that are passionate and know the game and are like know about film, like Ray, yourself that know about cameras, that are all about it. Like and it's a business to you guys as well too. And then you fucking have the you know, that you have those which which obviously are, are you guys. Then you have the the, the, the pervertive ones that are just doing it to, for, to chase a pussy or they're doing it like just for the strictly fat. They didn't know how to talk to bitches at all. They didn't have no self, no self skills and that was their way in. And a lot of them, they usually either fall off because their own fucking sneaky ways or they end up being some kind of OnlyFans type of photographers. And then you got the big time ones. So I'm just saying like in L.A., you meet like three different sections of, of type of type I'm, of people that do this. I mean, I've been doing this for almost 18 years. It's crazy crazy to even say that. 18 fucking years. Aton's 52, everybody. Yeah, yeah, I'm 52. Uh, okay, so I've been doing it for approximately like 18 years. I've come across super obnoxious photographers, cocky photographers, dudes that are only doing it for the money. They don't they don't care. It could be product photos, which by for me, that's honestly one of the most boring things to do in photography, product photos. Pay well though. They pay well, got but it. I never got into photography. <laughs> I never got into photography for the pay or anything like that. Yeah. I just started because I love taking photos. As growing up as a kid, I've had a camera in my hands. Then I was gifted a, a, a nice professional camera by my stepdad, and then from there he just gave me a few tips here and there. But Is he a he, photographer? Uh, as a hobby, but I mean he has. I mean, you stepped it up. Nah, like like he, his dad, his stepdad takes. Not National Geographic yeah, not Geo fucking style. photos like for fun. For fun. Who does that shit for fun? His Why dad. not? That's love. That's the love of something. He's on that, shut but that's up. what I'm saying. So like <laughs> that's the reason he he's fucking takes no, pride in what dope. he does. Yeah, yeah, I know that's great. Oh, so does your dad appreciate I mean he should. Like, I mean you do They're great. One, he's work, one of my work. biggest supporters. Yeah, you do great my work. My stepfather yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah, other the other dad and uh, my biological yeah. father, he don't give a fuck. He's like uh, traveling from one country to another. He don't care. So I just heard. I just what imagine. Is he your, uh, what is he? Massage. I just imagine like his real. I just yeah, imagine gypsy. his real dad's like the like the lieutenant surge, a gym leader from Pokemon, the one with the evil okay, right okay. shoe. Here's <laughs> the best example I can give you right now. Um, like he, about two times or well, three times bigger than Cali Blaze, but okay. he's bald, big dude. He's ex judo champ. He trained with the uh, oh shit Russian uh, judo champs, like Olympic champs. You know whatnot. any judo? No, I don't know any judo. I know self defense, yes, but do I know any judo? No, 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 no. My dad wasn't the the best. Like, okay, look, you were talking earlier about how soft these kids are being brought up nowadays. God forbid you lay a fucking finger on these kids nowadays. Oh my yeah. god, they're gonna call child services on you. They're gonna do whatever. They're gonna post it up on social media and ruin your whole fucking life. Oh, do you seen you went up? You seen a kid post post him getting hit? What do you mean? Nowadays, if a kid gets a phone in his hands by at an early age, you you best believe they're gonna figure out a way to like if they're not happy with certain things, they're gonna use social media to their advantage. 
Yeah. If it hasn't happened already, it will within who knows how long. You know. Damn. But anyways, uh, what were Fuck you saying? Off. I'm fucking stoned. I lost track. He said, he said photography. You agree with the photography? Are we yeah. back on photography? We went from photography to this. Yeah. Oh, kids are too soft. Yeah, you supposedly. said kids are being too soft. Too. I mean, too yeah, abrasive. Too con. I mean, dude, you want to play I, Roblox all day? If I if I said anything remotely in a bad tone to my dad or my any of my like grand my grandparents, Chris or, Ben Wall time. Yo, <laughs> yo, my dad is not a funny very anymore. fearsome dude. So. Yeah, it it was not fun. So yeah, of course I got my ass whooped by my dad when I was growing up. But I mean, if you haven't, then I don't know. I feel like you're a soft ass kid who grew know. up. Like, what, what do you do? Like, when you see a kid crawling in his own, dude. Like, I'm not gonna say, do you do anything? But like, I'll stare at a kid. I'm like, like I'm just like, like some straight dead face. Like, stop crying, kid. Like, don't get the fuck. Like, when I see kids messing up at the mall, I just stare at them. Like, what are you nah, doing? See, you're talking about that. But imagine your <laughs> your parents trying to teach you, let's say, math. Trying to help you solve a problem, and they keep trying to give you clues and clues, and you're like, I don't know. To the point, you're almost in fucking tears, and they're yelling at you because they're pissed off because it's like such an easy answer or some shit. Yeah, to you. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see, I was a child who was like, my dad's trying to teach me uh, fractions or some shit like that. I wasn't getting it at the time. I was like fucking seven or some shit like that. This dude's trying to teach me fractions, and every single time he tried teaching me math, though, this guy would fucking get. Fuming red, like piss off. Red, more red than Cali Blaze gets. Like the red emoji from the fucking, uh, <laughs> the red emoji from the See, phone. I have a yeah. feeling. I have a feeling this one's gonna do that. He's trying. To, no. He's trying to teach his kids all the Pokemon. He gets one Pokemon wrong. That's Charizard. Hey, no, no, no. Hold That's up. Charizard. Teach your, teach your kids how to do taxes and how to make money and growth. The shit that they teach you mainly at school right now, half the things you're not even fucking using in real life. Yeah, I never heard anything about credit cards. Taxes. Or taxes. Taxes is an essential thing Nobody's in the U.S. Nobody's practicing safe sex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no one's practicing. Like, he's on set. Why do we need a safe, a safe sex class? No one's practicing that shit no more. No, I think they're just teaching kids how to actually have sex. In oh. sex. sex and safe sex. They try putting that in, but I mean, like. I mean, come on, dude. Did you, really, did you really need that class to know where to stick it in? No, Come on, I know, but I mean, like, we all grew up in a different age. Um, I mean, I went to high school before MySpace and all that stuff was out. So we didn't have social media or anything yeah, like yeah. that to go and look up things or whatever. You had Google, but it was like in its infancy stage. Early existing. Right? Yeah. Fuck. See, like see, you jerked off like like uh, you jerked off why to, like, magazines. Are you asking huh? me because that. you take pictures <laughs> of fucking you take pictures of fucking naked chicks I, all I, the you time. Know, I would rather a girl you ask take me this, pictures but of you. naked pictures of, so I'm saying you're like back in that day. I'm asking, does oh, that have anything course. to do with Playboy. that? I'm asking Playboy that, print. That's of what I'm saying. Does Playboy print Playboy have anything to do with the photography you take now? That makes more sense. Like No, so here's the thing though. Like like we're going back to the first thing he was talking about. Yeah. That's what you do so much for talking. Very classy. I've, I've, very, I very classy. Anywhere, tasteful. I work anywhere very from I love musicians, artists, models, and yes, OnlyFans and all that type of shit. So it is, there have been times back like in the last, I don't know, probably 10 years where I've been tempted like crazy. But the thing is, though, there is a huge network of photography, like community and word and models and word spreads. If you fuck one model, okay, who's known you best believe everybody else. But what if she wants fuck. it though? Like, yeah, I know you can't like be like, you can't be like, okay, you I'll trade you fire, dude. Because, because I, I, I'm not telling you to trade. I'm not like, hey, I'll trade you this for sex. That, that no, thing no, you sound no, like Harvey no, Weinstein no. at that point. I don't I'm pay asking, my rent. <laughs> you, you would do it like Vince I'm McMahon asking, and Texter. I'm asking. You're taking pictures. You, she already paid you. Money's in the pocket. All of a sudden, like, dick gets hard, kind of, because she's hot, and then she's not just that starts, it hasn't. She just starts crawling to you on f all fours. You're gonna say Bro, no? On, I just picture Xavier. <laughs> I just picture Maybe. Xavier saying, "And you're gonna have so much come." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, there have been girls that have been very like. I can't. You sometimes, in all honesty, you can't tell really how uh, if they're faking it or they really actually are into you, because. In order to get the right shot, I mean, I've had girls play play with themselves in front of me. I've made no moves. Tempted, yes, but have I actually acted on it? Absolutely. She puts not. a banana in her mouth. It's over for me. Like it's pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, dude, she wants a banana. Fuck There's a banana friend. right here. Like, what fuck we doing with life? Let's... You're fucking going to jail, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I, in the past, like three or four years during COVID and all that stuff, I got introduced to a lot of porn stars. And they also blew up their OnlyFans accounts. I've filmed these girls doing some crazy fucking shit. 
Okay, so anywhere from a girl and another girl, a girl and a guy, a girl, girl and a guy. Yeah, what do you mean? You cuckolding over there, pretty no, much? No, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. We're not doing no cuckold <laughs> shit. Okay? That his lady, fool. Like, no, 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 no. like <laughs> fucking guy. No, but you were there. You, you were there. I mean, I mean, you're well, watching someone. I'm being paid for that. I'm being paid for that. Can, I know you can't no, say you like can't how much, no, but like, you can you no. like rough estimate? No, what, what if there's a guy out there who'd be like, "Yo, I got the loot. I want, I want a professional like you to Hit photography me, me and my wife." No, no, no. See, I actually, <laughs> I get people to sign NDAs I'm and I business. sign in my uh, well, send business my way, but send it privately and discreetly. Uh, you guys so might that's what people, send me a sample. That's of your what work. people like about <laughs> when they <laughs> hey, wait, hold on. when people work with me. It's uh, when it's like obviously not touring stuff. Yeah, yeah. All this stuff is very discreet unless they want me to put things out there. It's going to stay quiet. So that's why, like, you can't always move and just tell everybody what you're fucking doing in life. You don't want everybody to see your shit. No. I mean, they end up Damn, seeing man, it Damn, that made me think of Ray. He said, you want everybody to see your shit. What Ray got? He probably has a, a stash file. A stash, way, right? For this being your show, bro, this is the quietest I've ever heard you. <laughs> that was rolling now. a joint. What's up, champ? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I give credit to him. He can roll a joint. Champ. He can roll a joint. Champ, I said it on camera. Look, eight tons of champ. Thank you. Roll a joint, dude. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be rolling. Yeah, right Pedro. Pe <laughs> yeah, Pedro has not come up here. He hey, you know what? Hey, is Pedro in the house? No, he's not. He's at Green Thumbs. Oh, he's at yeah. Green Thumbs? No, I don't know. I just All right. <laughs> probably, probably, though. Pedro, if you're watching, come up, dude. No, no, no. He can stay down there. <laughs> he's very negative in the mornings. <laughs> <laughs> He'll walk up in here. I'll be on, uh, like, Instagram Live or something like that. Uh, and then just randomly just walks in, starts talking shit to me. I'm like, maybe what that's the fuck. That's how you know the girl doesn't text him good morning back. Damn. <laughs> oh, he used to be a nice guy. I don't know what happened. Nice guy's finished last. He he figured that out. Yeah, I don't know. He's doing pretty well for himself, I would say. Fuck. Am I wrong? Hey, hey, let's get into the super chat. doing great. I know there's not that many uh, super so chats. Yeah. All good. All right, let's do it. Let's see what people got people got to say and then see if anybody left any voicemails over the time. Damn, somebody wants to know what's your rolling technique. I mean, I don't do the tapping one where you fill fill up the join then to get rid of the gaps, you tap it on the whatever surface for a little bit. I don't do that anymore. Cuz that actually gets uh, joints a bit uh clogged up. These guys over here give me the hardest fucking time. If it's not if it's not a 10 milli or a 12, it's oh, a yeah. problem. It's a tight joint. <laughs> Yeah, this guy's fucking smoking like a 12 or 14 right now. Feels great. Tastes great. I'm OG. Get back over here. I got, a, I got OG over here with me. What's yeah, up, OG? He just likes to do whatever he wants, apparently. He's, the getting, kid? he's definitely getting contact high. There is a lot of smoke in here. Smoke yeah, that's there. the one thing. Like, eventually, the people think that it's blurry and shit in here, but it's... Uh, it starts... Yeah, it starts off clear, and then it just starts Pretty clear right now. Well, not too clear. Yeah, I'm going to put a fan over worse. there. Yeah. Damn P. I need that bail money back. <laughs> LOL, FXG. Yeah, that fool fucking sent a hundred bucks. Yeah, Did he? Good for you. Oh, to, fuck. To fucking bail you out. I forgot about that. Holy shit. Thinking that you... I'm not gonna lie. I did, I, I did look at the at the analytics and I was like, oh man, you guys racked up a lot of money. You guys really don't like me on the show, huh? And I was like, why are you so, why are you so mad? I should miss more often. Uh, they don't, shout out Dan They don't P. like you. They love you. I know. You. Shout out Dan P. Damn. Damn Man, P. we got we got a good amount right now. Holy fuck! Shout Yo. out to everybody in the chat room. Shout out to everybody watching. Salute. He also, he also said, "I went to high school with Kr, the guy that came out on Superfly. He's doing time now for some nasty shit he did." Damn. Damn. Superfly. What is that? A movie? Yes. Yeah. It's actually pretty good, right? It's a good film. Yeah. Hey, you think Mick, Vic 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 Vic's gonna do any time? Nah, Vince ain't doing no time. No time. He just had a fight. He just had a fight. We don't know yet. We don't know. It's just, it all just seems like crazy shit. Yeah. Which Vince are we talking about? Vince, Vince McMahon. McMahon. You, haven't oh. read, you haven't heard what happened? Yeah, like, I mean, he's getting older. He might serve sometime. For what, though, technically? Technically? No chance. <laughs> that's what she gets. Unless there's proof. That's what, that's what, if that's, there's some sort of proof, and so far... Are I those just real or fake text messages? That's what I'm saying. I just I don't, don't see that he I don't see like, him texting like nah. that. You? Like we, you, where it says literally, he's almost like, when's the last time you? I wonder if you? he had, I wonder if he had a, like a, a dildo that was called the Godfather. What the <laughs> fuck? Like you know, because he named them after wrestlers. He's Who just, named? <coughs> what are we? What am I missing something? Right? Yeah, like the dildos were named after wrestlers. He would have a set of dildos <laughs> of all kinds of shapes and sizes, apparently, 
And he would put names of wrestlers on them. Yeah, like he'd be like, you bitch, the- you're going to get fucked by The Undertaker. And yeah, and here comes the Hulk Hogan yeah, in your like, mouth. Like, and, on the Kurt and, Angle and, has you, you by, here show? comes Booker T. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like he was, that was his thing. I feel like this is something that was just pulled from, like, what's that show? Reddit? The Boys. Oh, no, The, the boys. boys. One of those episodes. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's, a, it's, it's, apparently it's there in the text. Yeah, and here comes The Big Show. Wow. No, no, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Yeah. I, the but then show? again, rich people, rich people do. They do some crazy fucking things. Yeah. When they get bored, and trust me, they get bored quite easily. They do some funky stuff. Jeez, they do. We have Andre the Giant coming up up here. No wow, I think it's Pedro, the other champ. Yeah. The, the Rakishi, reti- the retired champ. Uh, uh, you want the Rakishi? Uh, fucking. It's one of those ones from uh, Spencer's. You know what I'm talking about, Ray? Hey, we got to go to Spencer's, dude. <laughs> oh, Ray, yeah, Ray went to Spencer's. He's like, bro, we can make some content here. What the fuck? For it's real, empty. Dog. What I is went Spencer's? To, I went to the mall at 11 8 or was it 10 30? Bella Mall the other day with my wife. We were looking for a sweater. And um, we went to Spencer's. Like, fuck it, let's check it out. Fucking empty. And the chick was cool, the cashier. And um, yeah, you, in the back, obviously, is the section where all the, you know, all the, the adult dildos stuff. And shit. Dude, there was a dildo. That's like on the stand or whatever. It, it's raffle it off. It looks like a fucking dragon <laughs> cock. Or That's something. the one we're gonna buy for chili. <laughs> what the fuck? Then I don't mind going back there and filming some content and you know, well not for chili, but you know, just filming content. Period. No, like when we were doing Christmas shopping, I was like, dude, what do we get? Chili. <laughs> well, I, you know, but I don't know if she's into squid billies. Oh, it was big. It was too big. It was too big. That's like no, that's not. Okay. I feel like it has to be tall can shaped for her. No, no. <laughs> it's <just> fucking idiot. <laughs> She'd be like D thirty. Fucking stupid. But it, hey, I, next one. It's like the store for UX. It's very toxic in there. A lot of toxic uh, masculinity. It's too dark. Shirts. First of all, it's too dark. I don't even like that place. There's no dark. No, no good vibes. It's too dark. First of all. What is this place? Spencer's. Spencer's. You've been to Spencer's. Oh, I don't know what the fuck Spencer's is. The fuck Damn, out of here. We gotta go to Spencer's. Eight. I feel like Eight Town's very vanilla. Never been to the mall. What? I've been to the mall. They're but at I've every mall. You've never been walking by like, oh, Spencer's. West, like, I don't know, Westfield Mall. Do they have them there? Yeah, they do. They have, every mall has them. It's, it's, I honestly don't even go to the mall that often. It's like Hot Topics, but with sex toys. Not really, You've but You've been yes. there. They sell like beer bongs and like it's like a college like a college store type of thing where you Fucking go buy Maybe if I saw the exterior of the shop, I might recognize it, but. Yeah. Pull, like, up, pull up what a Spencer's looks like, right? So you get to- Usually it's right next to the Journeys shoe yeah. store. Like I've heard of Journeys. <laughs> it's right next to Journeys every other day, right in between Tilly's, dog. It's always in the same spot. You go there quite spot. often. I don't right in between no. Titties. You buy yourself your dildos, huh? huh? You, buy your, you buy your dildos over there, no, don't you? Dude, no, dude. Liar. No, don't buy you no dildos. You know way too much about these no, dildos No, the only fleshlights I ever got in were given to me by two chicks. And a guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did they here. tell you need to practice? Is that huh? why they gave I gave them the third one. <laughs> they, thought it, they, they thought it would stop me from cheating. It was out of state. And oh one day, one, are you one, serious? Yeah, one day. That's else, what Spencer's look like, Aton. Yeah, that's what Spencer looks like. It looks like oh, with the graffiti. Yeah. Okay, I never knew it said Spencer's, but yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, I've seen that place before. Yeah, it's a fucking weirdo spot. All the yeah, chicks, what do you all shop the chicks, like? Banana Republic. All the chicks in there cut themselves. No, I like Gap. Only <laughs> thing from Gap that I have are my camo pants. That's it. I like their sweaters. Yeah, where, hey, Aton, where do you? You're at the mall. Where are you going? Nordstrom's oh, going Adidas. I think he's stopping by Adidas. I stop by Foot Locker. Stop by Adidas. Cheek. Uh, Cheek. No, that's me. That's Cheek me. is trash. I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's trash. Me or Shoe Palace. That's all hype. That's all hype. Yeah. I go there. Shoe Palace. Shoe Palace actually dope. has like options for shoes. Shoe Palace is nice. Chic is crap. I'm sorry. Paxson, that's you gotta stop by Paxson real quick. No, I don't stop by Paxson. He's not Paxson. fucking 14, dude. He looks young yeah. as fuck. He, he told you he's 52. Yeah, 52. I know, I know. Dude. I mean, honestly, a lot of my clothes like are online orders now at this point. Nice. No, I mean, so, yeah. <laughs> I, the last time I went to mall, I went with these on, and we were like, what the fuck is going on? Nah, I but live, I live 10 minutes away from the uh, Beverly Center. We, we, were trying to get to, we were trying to get some jewelry at one point. It was like a 30-minute wait just to go inside. That's what? because that's because that food, COVID? No, that's because fools be walking in there and just be like, we're going to steal everything. Hey, but have you been seeing, though? Those fools be getting busted, dog. I be mean, like finally. I'm like I, I commented like at on, home and shit. Like they're just getting nah, the house bro. Ready, like or I, like at, they're getting like at the joint. Fool, so like I, you think that all these people that are doing uh, they going to the stores and doing stash snatches, like fool, like you pull up to a garage, whether it's a stolen car or not, they're gonna track you down. There's cameras everywhere, so they've been busting a lot of people. They've been stealing at Nike's. Like if you thought Nike was gonna let you, oh yeah, take these Jordans. 
We'll worry about it later. They busted some like like a group of like four black fools mm. that have a warehouse in Hawthorne. Fool, these fools stole so much shit. They had bought a warehouse in fucking Hawthorne, and it was all stolen Nike shit and like designer shit. These fools are going away for a while and shit. Nice. Good. Because it's just like, but I'm, but I, and then there was like, it just comes out every week, and I'm just like, these fools are getting busted. I'm like, if you think that you're gonna just go ahead and steal shit, did you see the other one? Which one? The one where they put a fucking a smoke bomb. What? In the what the bag? In the store? mall? Yeah. Nah. Oh yeah, inside yeah, the jewelry yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they really put the jewelry store, they put a little smoke bomb, and they start breaking shit in. They're like, they think they think they're like double O agents and shit. Now they think I they're part of like Ocean's that. Eleven and shit. Yeah, they went into the jewelry store. They let a smoke bomb out, and they're just like, oh fuck it, we're just gonna steal all the jewelry. So you can't. See ah, it. straight up smoke bomb, like straight up like a double O. And then you just see the security recording. I think you're trying to say Mission Impossible. At that point, you just at that point you just, double agent. You know, at that point you just need Spider Man to just come in there, bro. Yeah, dude. yeah, bro. Like if you're using smoke bombs, bro, you need Terminator. A, if you're in California, you can get away with anything. At this, do you point. guys hear about that one chick? I mean, that's not very specific. Yes, you, you'll be like yes instantly. <laughs> you heard that about one that one chick, chick Ray? <laughs> that one chick that killed her husband, uh, her boyfriend you, on you, weed. You're hot. You have, the, you have the hots for her, huh? Stabbed she was him pretty hot. hundred something times. Yeah, and then stabbed herself like forty something times. You added that detail. Yes, shot. I know. Yeah. Well, you didn't. Uh, you let me finish. But <laughs> is this the same chick that you showed us earlier? No, this one. Okay. Uh, this one. Damn. This one's hot. Can you pull this one up, Ray? This one's hot. Gypsy Rose is not hot, dog. Who the fuck is Gypsy Rose? You haven't heard of Gypsy Rose either? He, 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 he can watch it. Show me yeah, a I'm face. Not gonna, I'm not going to re-say the whole thing. show me a just, face. That's just go it. to HBO Max, Gypsy Rose, mind blown. You she will... the one that just got released? Yeah, that one? and oh, her okay. mom made her seem like she was paralyzed for her whole life. Crazy. Not saying no more. I just went deep down the rabbit okay, hole. I got, you, I got you, I got you, All right, I pulled up the photos. She'll show up any second now. She's pretty hot. On, a, on another crazy. note, E-Zone. When are you going to start playing Call of Duty? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> this is why you want to come You don't get it. Here. The more you ask him, the least he wants to do it, dude. No, 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 no. He yes, is... yes, yes. You don't think you guys don't think she's kind of cute? No. No. At all. She looks like she's had her nose punched in a few times. She just fucking stabbed herself. Which one was the times. unattractive Kardashian, and then she got attractive after that surgery? Chloe Kardashian. No. Yeah, no, that's Chloe. It's Chloe, the big one. The youngest one. Ken, uh, what is it, Kendall or Kylie? I can't remember. <laughs> the youngest one. She looks like the youngest one. That was not attractive, but now she is. You're not deflecting your way yeah, out well, of this she, one. Well, you know out. she got released. You know she got released, and she got ten months community <laughs> service because she was too high. Really? <laughs> on what though? Well, on this weed. One. Yes, this was the whole point of this fucking conversation. That chick right there stabbed her boyfriend, killed him, stabbed him 107 times, stabbed herself. You just get off. For because she was too high The weed was too good Literally look this up You guys think I'm crazy I, I'm finna I, hit my propane And just drive on the sidewalk And skid roll that, That's I, what she's saying That's basically what they're saying You can okay, do it Okay but they did Did they do a drug test said at be, least Yes And there was weed in her And she's corner her She what doesn't else? really smoke weed Huh What else So she doesn't really smoke weed and uh, she didn't read the warning. No one told her the warning sign on the label thing. I look, I'm not making. She got triggered by something, not by weed. She, she was got crazy. triggered yeah, by something I agree. her man said for I sure. I 100% agree. She should be in jail, locked up for doing multiple years. She got 10, 10 months community service. Not even, she didn't even step foot into a jail. Look at, I swear to God. She only had weed in her system. Was there any proof? Yes, of, weed uh, in the system. That's it. There's uh, proof. Yes, it was. Uh, no dude. history of abuse between the two, domestic I think it was shit. just a date. And That's I think it, what? I think they were. I think man, that fool. She stabbed her. After I think a she went. I think it's like you tell a girl over, hey, let's come over. We're gonna smoke weed at my house. She's never smoked weed. <laughs> then she hits the weed. It's the best weed there's it's ever fucking been. Fucking voluntary. Hey, hey, give Tom, her some fucking. Hey, Tom's like, OG. Hey, Tom's like this. Check this out. I rolled this. I rolled this. <laughs> she hits it. She hits it. According to her, she, <laughs> she also stabbed the dog. What the? F she killed the dog too. No, 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 no. Straight to jail. Straight, Straight to, jail. to jail. Like that video. Straight to jail. Like first of all, what, <laughs> number one, I'm like, what kind of dog was it? Okay. Not that that makes a difference, but why do you have a dog if it can't protect you? No, no, no. I don't give a fuck if it's a little chihuahua. Thank you. Straight to Thank fucking you, jail. Time. Yeah, no, for Straight sure. Just going to jail regardless. But like, if like I'd be mad if like I had a German Shepherd that used to be a police dog and then you stab him and this, you know. I'd be like, hey, he he he, he could have gone for the neck. Well, she got ten months for literally. So basically, all of us can kill someone tomorrow, today, right now. You get away and with just it. be like, well, do you see how many joints there were on the table? Oh, a lot of joints. How am I supposed to gonna? How am I not gonna stab do, someone? You, oh, bullshit. Like, they, they they would test. They'd probably test my blood and they'd be like, this, this guy, <laughs> he's tried to OD on weed. Hey, so yeah. you're gonna call of duty or what? Yeah, you can call of duty. You're ready to kill people. <laughs> he like has this called bitch it. Killed. Hold on, hold on. First off, three eyes. Thank you very much. You're awesome, by the way, bro. He's a, he is a shit. Yeah. 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 He got this guy over here. Everything that he's using right now, yeah. he's he beat <laughs> too. 
He beat Spider Man too, right? You yeah. A hundred percent. Tight. Not okay. 80, 87. He's got a cat game. He's got to fucking conquer, dude. Dre. Just get but, on. But I'm gonna Call play of Call of Duty, Duty though. Get on Call of Duty. Just have fun. It's like camaraderie, just to play with, the, play against like one another or whatever. Can I say faggot on there? Uh, no, they'll ban you. Yeah. Oh. The AI ban. My... They can ban you from talking. Oh damn! So I gotta say it funny. Talking but not gameplay. No, you just gotta you gotta make shit up. Like, what's that one number I said it? What was it? You faggot oh, piss. What's the initial? What's the like? If you were the numerical numbers for F A G, it's what? I don't know. Why don't you, we're watching you figure it out right yeah. now. Dude, I wish they had fucking a Nintendo. You know what I, mean? I wish they had Nintendo All Star games on PlayStation. That would I be fucking you. hard. All right, fine. I'm going to get a Call of Duty. Get on it and let's play. Come on. Stream that shit too. You stream it? Yes. So people that watch your shit can hear me talk? Yes. All right, all right, all right. And I can watch it on my computer while I'm playing too, right? Yeah, or you just stream it through your platform. Whatever you want to do. It don't matter. But 617. Just save 617. Stop being a 617. <laughs> We're like, why are you being a 617? Oh, my God. <laughs> Next one, baby. Boy, my I, I come back 617. They don't like people from the 617, dog. <laughs> You're being what a is, 617 right now. You? What is the I love you? One something? No, I love you would have to be what a letter is L in the alphabet is the number of that. I don't know. I don't have a pad in front of me. To see. Well, you're being a 617. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, baby yeah, she's ready to get stabbed. Oh, we're ready. Well, I'm ready. I might get Call of Duty now since he's been, been ready to get stabbed. I figured out how we a little around. Pedro also has a uh, Call of Duty. Yes, he does. <laughs> so does don't play though. No, he refuses to play. He's scared. <laughs> I'm just probably gonna die a lot just because. That's fine. You see that plenty when I. Hey, you know what? Too. You know what sucks is like you I thought you're about. You're gonna get clipped. I thought you know about. You're gonna get clipped and re- and Aton's gonna be like, look, he's dumbass. He's alright. Headshot. Oh. I love you is 143. <laughs> there you go, 143. You're going to get so many headshots. He's, he's going to make a commentation of how he shot so many headshots. No, 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 no. We're so going to be on the same team. Oh, okay, Dude. that's cool. Dude. Dude. We okay, can play private matches where it's one-on-one or whatever, but I don't want to because he's going to get a fucking work. Yeah, you're, gonna, yeah, no, you're, no. you're good. So for him to enjoy it, we just play oh, as a Oh, yeah, team. why are you not playing then? I really thought you were trying. I was like, yeah, no, I don't want to no, play no, with no. someone better than we me. We all have fun together. Oh. Fucking winning or losing, don't matter. Yeah, yeah. Ice Loke told me that. Come on, join the team. He's on the uh, same I, team. I love uh, you, Ice Loke, but you got to work on your I game, have a bro. headset, too, that I haven't used, so. Oh, my God. Yeah, shout out to me. It was dope. <laughs> you got him a headset? Yeah, it was a good one too. What is it, the little kitty cat ones? No. Uh, PlayStation one. <laughs> yeah. I you know, might put a kitty cat <laughs> sticker on it. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the ones that have the little kitty Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> have you ever have you ever only fan one of those chicks? Have no. you ever took pictures for any of those those anime's crazy chicks? No, they got they honestly handle everything on their own. Half the time they're just sitting on their fucking gaming chair playing with themselves. Yeah. They don't they don't need any help. <laughs> True. <laughs> they just do it all on their so own right there. Guess. Yeah, they're smart. Yeah. They're smart. They're smart. They're like, I don't need no 5K photography. Just this webcam in my vagina. Yeah. I mean, they're making what? Bro? Easy 100K a month. Yeah. A month. Some of Being them, a puta. Uh, Damn, you got a supporter already. All right, all right run, run, it. run it. Run the next Baby one. Baby Matra, but they are dressing Chicano. What talking about the, the Asians? Yeah. Yeah, but they're not acting. They're not shooting each other. So, you know, it's true. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go where the Japanese cholos are at this time. All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna vlog my whole trip. So. Man, it's the painter. Wait, you're going? Going to Japan, February the 24th again? Yeah, yeah, ten days. It's been a year, dude. It's time. It's a yearly thing for Don't him. you. Play Call He's of Duty working. over there, eh, Tom? <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. No, no, I do. I have a homie that lives out there. Oh yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Tell him to link up with me. Okay. He don't smoke weed. He's a military dude. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. He he's he's a U.S. citizen that gets uh, moved around Japan. Nice. He's one of those. That's pretty interesting, though. Yeah, but he plays Call of Duty, though. Next one. Next one, man. It's the painter. My mom shanked me with the folk <laughs> in the leg for talking back. She had me in the corner between the fridge and wall. Crying, right? <laughs> Probably crying. Shanked? Scared. Scared that if you call the cops, it's going to get worse. Oh, that's a knife. I don't think they Probably shanked fork. them. Probably a fork. Like a fork or a butter knife, dog. You can't die with say a butter folk. knife. Fork. Yeah, fork, dog. It's not. Toma, puto. Tíquete calladas. What does you, that mean? I'm sorry. I need subtitles when if you Here you go, guys... bitch. I told you to oh, shut okay, up. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. You're like, you never got told that we're... Oh, all of a sudden your mom needs to try on this dress? No, nah, your mom don't need to try on a dress. You need, we're taking you to the fucking... You're going in this dressing room to get fucking handled. Okay. You're not shopping for dresses, mom. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Man. ¿Qué te dije? No te voy a comprar nada. No estoy llorando. 
Next one. <laughs> Next one. Subtitles. Do your Ho Chi 420. What the hell? WDSTS flags for sport events or ravers, please. It's a part of the summer drop. And I, I'm, I, I found a Shopify person, so expect a lot of changes coming and a new new website that'll take you to the website. You know Ooh. that makes sense. Nick Sack, Pokemon with guns. Oh yeah, that Pal World. Yeah, I'm surprised you're not fucking streaming that. But shit. What is that? Is that for PlayStation? It's, Can you pull I, that it's up, a right? Steam. I think it's on Steam. It's a free game. I think it's a free game. It's a free game. Nice. I think. Well, it's not really free. They make you buy shit. Yeah, still, but. in in app purchases, whatever. Yeah. But I'm. How do you feel about right. that as a gamer? Do you do you rather just buy the game for fifty bucks and stop yes. stop harassing me? For yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. One hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Like you know, I would, I could buy, I would buy for fifty bucks and then add on shit if I want to. You seen how much people spend on Fortnite skins or bro blocks? See, but the reason either I don't, or either but one. But the reason those. I don't care is like as a fucking not a the guy that doesn't give a fuck about that. I'm like, then just don't buy them, and I can play for free. Oh, you want skins? Okay, well then here you go. Like, of course you want extra Bro, shit. When I say people buy skins, I'm talking about thirty thousand dollars. That sounds like an addiction problem that I don't care about. They're using their parents' fucking credit cards, yo. I, I want to <laughs> feel bad, but I don't. The parents? No, have, I don't fucking feel bad yeah. at all. I'm just saying, like, these games, like Fortnite, is a free game to play. Yeah. But they're definitely making, they're racking in money. More than the 50 bucks that they would have sold that kid for. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I know that. Yeah, 100%. By millions. Tens of millions. It's fucking crazy. Which I'm cool for those. I'm thankful for those stupid kids because that's the reason the game's free for me. Yeah. Dumbass kids. Dumbass kids. Thank you for making the game free for me. I don't have to pay. I haven't paid for like a, like, only even call it. I, well, God, they will sell Grand Theft Auto. I don't think that'll be for free. I don't know what you just tried saying, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah. of impossible for a second. I was about to say I haven't, pay, <laughs> hey. about to say I haven't paid for a game, but I have. Hey, read, I read, I what, I, read what Eileen said right now. Hold up. Come on, Eileen. Come on, Eileen. Here, here, I can see it from right here. It's, I'll read it. There it says. Jameson spent over $250 on Minecraft shit. Damn. <laughs> That's a little kid, fool. I know. Two hundred and fifty on something that you're not gonna hold physically. That's a whole Xbox. Shit, I got in trouble for ordering pay per view back in the day oh, when you had. Yeah. We didn't have forty dollars. Huh? Forty dollars? Like I'm like, you or know WWE, what I mean? Like, he's talking WWE. WWE was forty bucks when you ordered it. Bro, back I in the fucking day. ordered yeah. Playboy. I ordered pay per view, and I. Oh, this, no, 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 no. Kid. this is when. <laughs> this is when you had to. Call. I was talking WWE. No, no, no. <laughs> straight went old to school cable box. Old school cable box. Yeah. That just, then it didn't go past channel 100 or some shit like that. And you have to call a, your cable company to place an order for the channel that you want, for the movie channel you want. So you get to watch that movie all day, whatever. But fuck, I racked up a huge bill on my parents' shit. Yo, I don't I don't think I was allowed to got hit? watch. I got hit. I wasn't allowed to watch TV for a long ass time. Nothing. Taking your camera away. No, no, this is way, way before then. <laughs> this is like around the time my dad was making me sign contracts to like use an N64 Damn. to have one. Damn. No, I wasn't, I wasn't allowed to play a video games. A, a written contract? Yes. That's crazy. I, was, I had to make sure that I did, uh, what's it called? Uh, Your chores, homework? No, 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 other things like uh, go and practice karate or whatever. Go to All karate right. classes. Make sure you do tennis as well and a bunch of other fucking things. So, but I play. I, I ended up playing tennis for like eight or nine years. After that, what the fuck? Yeah. Damn, eight times. No, I played tennis for four you. years. It's fun, but like now, yeah. I, I mean, I can't do that. My knees are all fucked up from all the other shit I've been doing. So, and I know I just set myself up for something. Fuck. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Ezone's like, yeah. Curious Jorge, eighty four. I'll protect you, Ezone. That's hilarious, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna play, bro. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put my PlayStation account on there because. I do want you guys. I do want to play other games with you guys that are like different. You missed one too. Uh, do your ho cho four twenty. Uh, we don't smoke the same flags for sport event, sporting that. events yeah, or raves, please. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh, my he bad. Said something about that. Oh, too. my bad. I didn't hear that. Oh, oh good. Bad. You glitched out. Yeah, Again, NPC XG. <laughs> There's two more. I'll read them right now. Matt says two dollars. Shout out to Aton. Good to see you on the show, bro. Thank you. Who is that, Matt? Yeah, Matt. Shout out to Matt. I don't know who you are, but awesome. Thank you. And last but not least, Dan P. I'm going to Sweetheart's Night tomorrow. You bastard, bro. What's uh, Sweetheart's Night? Disneyland Sweetheart's Night. Yeah. Oh. It's pretty cool. Uh, enjoy, but it was a little bit too packed for my liking, bro. Hey, how's uh, Valentine's Day there? 
I know. Oh, it's tight. I saw all the stuff. I wanted to review some of the cool stuff, but what's the day? Available. I was talking about the day. No, no, no. It oh, must yeah. be packed that day. It must be a fucking shit show. Or no? I don't know. I never really experienced it. I'm more of like a ho- Halloween guy. Um, You're every holiday guy <laughs> you talking about. I'm only a Halloween. I meant like in regards if I'm gonna choose one to go to. Fuck! I wonder what you're doing for Valentine's Day, bro. Wait, me and my girl agreed we're just gonna do something in uh, Japan. Fuck that, because we already spent a lot of money. For Even better, trip. where are you going in Japan, by the way? Oh, I got, got a few tricks on my sleeve. No, I mean like where? Oh, like, like not for Valentine's? Cities? What cities are you? Oh, going I'm to going to Tokyo. I'm gonna go to Osaka. I'm gonna go for sure. Go to Mount Fuji. I'm gonna go. I'm just. Did you take the bullet train? I'm gonna this time. Oh, because I actually God, have a awesome. Japanese friend that's a DJ meeting with me, so he's like, "I'm gonna take you sightseeing." When you go to what's that uh, famous square, the biggest cross street? Um, Shibuya. Shibuya Square. There are a bunch of hip hop spots around there too. Yeah, they have a lot of record stores. Are you going to the the THC smoke spots? You know what's crazy? I knew about that spot before it got like fucking hella. I was supposed to go, but it was such, it was a six hour drive from where I was at the first time, so I didn't know about it. So I didn't connect with it. I know that like. People are saying they're like, yeah, Weavers in Koala Puffway. I was like, yeah, I know dude for a minute since like, last time I went. I just didn't link up with him. This time, I'm going over there, and uh, my propens are coming with me. Are you, trying, uh, are you trying to be a citizen? I'm. I am. I'm trying to buy a house. On I'm trying to buy a house. Yeah. There you go. For twenty eight thousand dollars, I can buy a decent house he and rent it out. Go. That's the rule. He has to go once a year for ten years. That helps you build a good record. That's what I said. I mean, now you go on a lot. That's when you said it. You go on a lot. You go once a year. They will fucking be like, you're come here. not wanting to come back to the U.S. Oh, he hates. Yeah, dude. Have you talked? I mean, what's up with the toilets? They're that great. As Ezone talks about it. They're amazing. Best yeah. toilets out there. See, dude. It's nothing and I've like never even experienced a good one. They're all the same here. It's just a toilet. You know, like, I don't care. Like, the ones in it's LA, the ones at the airport. It's nothing oh, like having the cleanest asshole, bro. What? And with that, we end the show. <laughs> Are you like, what the <laughs> fuck? Extreme, bro. That just, it makes sure your asshole is clean. I'm just, that's all I'm saying. It's high tech. It keeps it <laughs> fucking warm for you if I want. All that oh, there's music. Plays music. Yeah, music and shit. No, I yeah. understand. I well, just, I'm fucking, I've never I'm, experienced I'm gonna, don't just, like, fun to make a, I'm going to make a video where it's like, if I click the music, this is going to play fucking rap music. <laughs> he's on, he's on, he doesn't want to admit it. He kind of did. But he's literally said he's holding his shits in for Vegas. For, for no, Japan. I didn't. Like I, the last I, one, like the last one. He's like, I, I said I was going to eat a lot on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. exactly. Uh, That's what he said. Like, <laughs> how when I wake, I'll tell you, like, if you had When I wake up, up from the Xanax sleep, I'll wake up at the last four hours. It will di- digest by the time I'm done. <laughs> it's ready to I'll go. fucking be like at the airport. And I'll be like, hold <laughs> on. I'll be like, hold on, babe. Just, I got to go to the bathroom. Yeah, imagine that fucking doesn't work out and you end up having a stomach ache on the flight. How long is that flight? 12 to 14 hours? 11 hours? Oh my God. No, no, no. I'm no, telling no, you, no, he's no. like Randy from uh, uh, South Park when he, like, when he tries to beat the biggest shit in the world and he holds it in for like a month. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and he, wait, you can kill yourself doing that shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's well, it's South Park. He's only gonna hold it for a month. Yeah, not for months. I mean, you'd be surprised. A lot of people try replicating things that they see on cartoons in cartoons. Just don't take. Just for real. <laughs> hey, he's on the road though. If you gotta go, just use the toilet because you you don't want them landing the toilet because you feasted all over the airplane like that one guy did. Landing the plane because yeah, it's stupid. Elmo yeah. Elmo Duran said, "I want it. I want my ass to stay dirty." Xavier, <laughs> Xavier read some books, dude. Really. All right, so. And with that being said, I want to thank uh, everybody for tuning in today. Uh, I want to thank Aton for joining us last minute. Uh, you're welcome anytime if you're down there. Thank you. Thank you. Usually you have a guest, but thank you so, for having me. I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. Um, where can they follow you at? Private Photo. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Private Photo. It's F-O-T-O at the end. Same thing on uh, Twitch. And yeah, if you guys are interested in any of my photo prints, let me know. Shoot me a DM. I got you. Majority of my photos are available. And uh what else? Uh, what about PSN? Where do they follow you up? I believe it's either Private Photo or Photogasm. Again, if you guys are trying to play some Call of Duty, let me know. Let's have some fun, talk shit, you know, whatever. Smoke up. I'll probably be on tonight or, or tomorrow don't, after the don't show. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. But I'm, at, I'm adding everybody, so. All right, uh, Ray, shout out. Hey, Tom, thank you for coming through Appreciate last it. minute. Everybody, <laughs> thank you for tuning in. Follow me at Morning Shot Films. Check out my website, morningshotfilms.co. Where I host the Morning Real podcast. Check out the episode that I did with Xavier Guerrero on the film "Leave the World Behind." I ain't leaving this world. Nope. Nobody is. We're here to stay. X. So hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, thanks for the extra little laughs at the end, Aton. That was fun. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be here tomorrow, Thursday. My fucking birthday. <laughs> How old are you? Turning? Thirty-one.
baby. Act, baby. Acts like he's turning 13, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what about you, bro? <laughs> I think you are 13. <laughs> Fuck you, Aton. <laughs> Fucking half-life crisis. <laughs> Love you too, bro. Um, yeah, so make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. I'm going to confirm with Keaton from the 42 Originals because he told me he was supposed to be coming by and I have him scheduled in. If he does, if he lags it on this time, hey, come on, dog. This is the second time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, aside from that Saturday, Cali Blaze will be joining us as well on Saturday morning for that episode. Ooh, so it will be... A pretty lit episode on Saturday and Thursday. Definitely bring your rigs. Bring your rigs. Go to com. Go get the new uh, Wahoo uh, hat, a.k.a. the Cleveland Indians hat with the faded logo on there. Go get that hat at flavorsbyezone.com. It's almost sold out. Uh, everybody's getting hooked up with the secret menu surprise along with uh, your purchase. So I appreciate you guys. For all the exclusive deals and uh, all the exclusive access, go to Patreon. I am going to be posting the video once I finish adding everybody to the raffle. <clears throat> so to see who won the Nintendo Switch, thank you everybody who uh, entered that. And we will be making another video for the Heady Artist of the Month here uh, in February. So please be patient with that after I go drop off your orders at the post office. Have a safe day. Have a good day. Have a good day. With that being said, positive vibes. And I'll see you guys on a Dr. Green Thumb show later. Peace.